It has been a long season of civil war. Rebel teams striking from various bases won their first victories in the dog days of summer. As these punishing battles stretched through the fall, home teams heroically defended their turf. Some stood, some fell. Now, the strongest warriors congregate in an arena that makes the showdown at Geonosis look like an Ewok picnic. I told you we should have taken a right at Tatooine, not a left. I find your lack of faith disturbing. How the heck am I supposed to wear a headset with these things? <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. We're going to be late for the single A private championship unless Mr. Cranky Pants here steps on it. Warp speed fast enough for you, Mr. Smarty. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're our only hope. Just use the force and park in the gold lot already. Look, I don't tell you which fire hydrants to use. You don't tell me how to drive. Now, let the game begin. <laughs> I said, park in the gold lot. What part of gold lot do you not understand? Eagles Landing Christian Academy Chargers versus the Aquinas Fighting Irish. Next. Time to play some football. That's a championship team right there. It's a hot time. See, Princess Jackie, I told you I'd get you to the dome more safe, sound, and on time. Yeah, well, thankfully we are safe. We barely made it, but we made it, and I think that next time I should take the keys. I don't know what was uh, so hard about finding the gold one. Say, Princess, you're sounding a little bit like an intergalactic backseat <laughs> driver now. Come on. All right, well, sorry about that. We just had to have a little bit of fun. Star Wars comes out next weekend, so we're having some fun here with that. All right. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Championship Weekend here on Georgia Public Broadcasting. We are live at the Georgia Dome as we get ready for day two of this football fiesta of tackles, touchdowns, and trophy presentations. At the beginning of the year, over 400 teams dreamed of being here. Right now, only four teams remain. Yesterday, three teams hoisted those championship trophies high. We will crown four more today. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mark Harm. And I'm Jackie Britton, and we're here to give you a 50-yard line view of all the action taking place on the field. Yesterday was certainly an exciting day. Today promises to be the same. All right, let's set the lineup for today. We've got four big games coming your way. And right at the bat, we've got single-A private school championship game between the Eagles Landing Christian Academy Chargers, the 2012 champs, and the Fighting Irish of Aquinas out of Augusta, who won the title in 2013. The two-way game pits Pace Academy's Knights looking for their first GHSA football championship, going against the Purple Hurricane of Fitzgerald, looking for their first football title since 1948. At, in the 4A game, it's undefeated. Top rank, 14-0, the Purple Hurricanes of Cartersville taking on the defending 4A state champion Buford Wolves who are going for their 12th state title. And finally, in the 6A season capper tonight, around 8 o'clock, it's a battle of unbeatens. 14-0 and defending champion Colquitt County taking on the 14-0 Hornets of Roswell. And you better believe there's going to be a lot of action online in the social media world. So we want to make sure that you are friends with us on Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat. Find us at GPB Sports and definitely want to find us, especially today, because we have a lot of contests going on and you have a chance to win some really cool prizes. Mm -hmm. 
So unfortunately, the Georgia Dome does not allow animals. So we had to leave Chewy inside the Millennium Falcon. But unfortunately, someone also left the keys inside. So I'm going to blame that one on Mark. So he's taken off. He's out of here. He's out traveling the world. He's been to Canada. He's been to Tibet. And we don't know where he's going today. So that's where you come in. We need your help in decoding the coordinates of where Chewy is headed next. So here are the coordinates. 29 degrees, 52 minutes, 16 seconds north and 31 degrees, 12 minutes, 59 seconds east. Can you decode this and figure out where it is? You have to use the country and the city, and you have to tweet us at GPB Sports using the hashtag Chewy Unleashed, and you can win a free mini iPad courtesy of our friends from the Georgia Department of Education. Now, you can enter as many times as you'd like, but you can only win once. So be sure to tweet us, join the conversation, use the hashtag Dome Wars, send us your photos. You could also win some selfie sticks as well and the best photos that make it on the air will win the selfie sticks just tell us who you're watching who you're rooting for and what you're expecting out of these big matchups here today it is the biggest weekend of the high school football year it is championship weekend and today Four more teams will achieve their dream of becoming state champions. So buckle up. It's going to be a great ride. It's time for Dome Wars to begin. And first up, it's the single A private school championship game with Eagles Landing Christian Academy and Aquinas. Live on, on GTV. GTV. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a breakfast buffet of high school football. It's going to be a dandy. Eagles Landing Christian, they were here last year. Aquinas Fighting Irish, they were here two years ago. They're no strangers to the dome. It's going to be a dandy. It's going to be a great Class A private championship. Good morning, everybody. Tommy Palmer along with Sam Crenshaw, and we're set to bring you the action. We've got some great players, great teams as we kick off day two. Let's go to Eagles Landing Christian Academy. Sam, tell us about that. Let's do that, Tommy. Yesterday we had two teams in the Class A uh, public that stuck to the ground. Today more balanced attacks. Sure. We start with Eagles Landing Christian. They got a quarterback who loves to move the ball and the guy makes things happen. D.J. Hammond for his senior year. This guy can do it through the air, also on the ground. He pass for uh, 1,100 yards. 10 touchdowns, he ran for 13 touchdowns, versatility, and he leads this football team on offense. On the defensive side of the ball, we got Chase Burnett. He is the hit man. He even plays some at fullback on offense, but this is what he does for you. 142 tackles, sacks, even an interception. Watch out for number 33. Aquinas brings game as well, Sam. Tell us about the Aquinas Fighting Irish from Augusta. They made the trip down the road from I-20 East. They made it to the Georgia Dome, and they, they're going to take care of business. Talk about this team. They got a quarterback that makes things happen, too. Liam Welch having a big, big season for the Irish. Took almost 2,000 yards passing and 18 touchdowns and seven on the ground. Like I said, just like Hammond, this guy's versatile. On the defensive side of the ball, the hit man is T.J. Smith. You want to watch out for him. 57 tackles have been in on, interceptions, fumbles he's caused. This guy wreaks havoc on the defensive side of the ball. Watch out for him today. We've got players. We've got teams. We've got a crowd. It's time to watch some high school football. Let's go down to Nikki Noto on the sidelines. Nikki. Thanks, Tommy. Welcome back, you guys, for some day two action. Now, if there are two football teams you need to know about when it comes to the class single A private games, it's all about Eagles landing in Aquinas year after year. They compete, and they always end up in the state championship, or so it seems so. In 2012, Eagles landing took home the state title. In 2013, Aquinas took home the state title. In 2014, Eagles landing made it back to the state championship, where ultimately they got beat by Mount Perrin, who happened to knock out Aquinas in the semifinal. Now, as an outsider looking in, one would assume that these two teams have a little bit of a rivalry going on, but that couldn't be more wrong. Coaches told me that there is zero familiarity with each other. They don't have common opponents. Tommy, Sam, that's all going to change in this game this morning because they're about to get to know each other really well. Guys. All right, we are ready for action. Aquinas in their traditional Irish gold and green. James Leonard in his third season. Pretty doggone good record there for a young coach. At one time, he was the youngest head football coach in the state of Georgia. Coach Leonard has done yeoman work with this high school football team. In a short period of time, a very short period of time, he's accomplished an awful lot down in Augusta. People down there very proud of him. All right. Eagles landing Christian in white. 
high driving kick at the one. A lot of territory. What a start. 99 yard touchdown return. Varenzo Holmes. Good morning. Hello, testing. One, two, three, four. If you're not awake before this, you are wide awake now. Wow. What a way to start. Lorenzo Holmes, technical college system of Georgia replay. Here we go. Look at the block. Boom. He gets through that hole, and he's already to the second level, third level. He's gone. There's nobody out there for him all the way for the touchdown. He looked back twice. <laughs> Just a glimpse. Nothing there. Here's the extra point. Up and good. What a way to start this football game. What a way to start day two of the championship weekend here in the Georgia Dome. A little excitement. That young man. Brennan Atkinson on the extra point. Holmes got a block right there. Right there, and he was gone. Oh, man. Not going to catch him. All the way for the touchdown. Aquinas has come in here and gotten on the board first in the most electrifying way. Wow. I tell you what. Got our blood pumping early, didn't he? <laughs> you'll, need to, you'll need more coffee after that. I'm telling you, that's as far as you can take it in high school unless you get it on the half yard line. That's it. That's when you it. open a game that way, that kind of that kind of brings everybody together for a team meeting on the sideline across the way, doesn't it? Talk about a lift and talk about a memory. We still got the rest of the game to play, but we talk about memories when you get to the state championship game. We talk about memories when you get to live this experience. Not everybody gets to do that. And to come here and to start the state championship game in this kind of fashion, that's something that young man will never, ever, ever forget. Yeah. Hankinson is kicking a little short pooch kick down to the 25. Take it there by ERCA. Juking going on at the 35. Caleb so, Hood, number 10 with that one. Yeah. I tell you what, watch 33. Not just on defense, but watch him on offense. This guy is the real deal. Let's take a look at Coach Guest. Yep. Who has really done a good job. The ninth season. Excellent record. They play tough early in the year. They play up in classification. We'll talk more about that later. Trap right at the middle. Going to fake the speed sweep and then hand to the up back behind Hammond, who is a great quarterback. This guy can really get it done. He was here a year ago as the starting quarterback. Should be no dome items for Eagles landing. Impressive numbers, yes, we see. He can throw in run. Hammond outside. Got a block at the corner. Hammond cuts back down to the 30 yard line. Goes Hammond. And we saw those, and he gets up a little bit there. Like he, like he aggravated something when he went down, and now he's hobbling a bit. Hope he can walk that off and shake that off and continue to play. Let's take a look at him. Another look. Got to the corner. Good stiff arm. Twice, not once, but twice. And ran over the secondary. There's a big stop. Big stop. And one of the guys in there is the name we call before the game. TJ. And then the other tag team partner, Artis Banks. Regions Bank starting lineup for ELCA. Martin Yates, Austin Bird, Connor Albrecht, Jake Dallas, and Chandler Reeves. In the backfield, Luke. Gear, Lightsey, Merritt, and Queen. Got a block on the corner. Fumble. The ball comes out, did it? Gear, yeah. And the ball comes out of there with it. George Welch, Liam Welch's baby brother. Yeah. I hate to call him baby, baby. but he's a young brother. <laughs> He's a sophomore and Liam is a senior. And he comes out of there. He comes out of there with it. You see Gear with the run makes the cut. And right there. Oh, he oh, reached in yeah. and pulled it out. Holmes pulled it out. <laughs> Yanked it out of there. He's been on two big plays so far in this game is still young. 
Webb's looking to throw. Got a man out there. Caught and dropped. Oh, no. Oh, my. Deep. Pass was intended for Gibbs. He was in stride, and the throw was on money. You know, I, I get the feeling, Sam, just initially here, this is not going to be a defensive struggle. No, no, it's going to be a little different. Here's the numbers off Liam Welch and what he's done this season. Remarkable, both oh. on the ground and through the air. 117 out of 197. That's almost unheard of. He was on target on that one. Short slot left. Going to run the power up the middle. Up across the 26 yard line. Angelo Durham Mays, with the run there. Mays yep. on the tackle. Here's the Regents Bank starting lineup for Aquinas. Ethan Crawford, Patrick Ivey, Scott, Hogue, and Evans. The wideouts and the quarterback, White, Durham, Neal, Welch, and Gibbs to begin the game. Third down and six now. We're just underway. If you miss the opening kick, we're not going to tell you about it ever again. <laughs> Welch, is, Welch is going to run the option to the left side. Call a friend and ask him. It was too too pretty to miss, wasn't it, Sam? It was something else. Montero Bird in on the stop there, slowing down Welch. Eagles landing Christian Academy defense in a 3-5-3. Hardeman Boyd. And the backers are Dallas, Alexander, Burnett, uh, Burnett and uh, Youngblood and Mays. And in the secondary, you got Moats, Hood, and Douglas. Fourth down and five. And we're going to kick it away here. Hankinson will kick it away. Standing, got, a whistle. got a whistle here. Standing back at his 15. Aquinas, Time first of the Aquinas. half. We'll take a break, and if you're good, we may show you the opening play when we return <laughs> at our breakfast buffet in the Georgia Dome. Aquinas of Augusta and Eagles Landing Christian. The GHSA Championship is made possible in part by Regions Bank. It's time to expect more. Georgia's Electric Membership Corporation, lighting the way. Technical College System of Georgia, learn more, earn more, Cigna, together all the way. And viewers like you, thank you. The GHSA would like to thank Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. We've had it all. Drop passes, kickoff returns, fumbles. fumbles. Yeah. All we need now, well, we don't want to call it. We don't want to say anything about high snaps and block punts. We had that yesterday. Yes, we had that yesterday. If you missed it, if you were late getting on the TV, here we go. Here's what you missed. Lorenzo Holmes getting this game off to an incredible start. And that's how we started, folks. And thank you for being with us. <laughs> we, we thought you just we thought we just get, get you up to speed. There you go. Hankinson standing back at 15. Gonna kick it away from there. Oh my, how it's her shot. Look at that. And picked up by Hood at the 35. Hood, what in the world? You think his coach is gonna say, th say something when he gets to the sideline? There's Coach Gas now. He's a 10th grader. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a look at it. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> the first one to him was the coach. Yeah. So let, let me have a little word with you. Here we go. All right. Hammond. Student body left. Got a block on the corner. And out of bounds up at about 46 yard line. Quarterbacks are showing you they don't mind calling their own number in that, and they both have nifty to do with it. So I handle it's a direct snap, and he hands it off to him. Definitely merit on the carry. Merit on the carry. First down. Hammond sends in a notion. Little inside trap. Got a block. Got tripped. 
or we would have seen another Powder River run. I know. Down to the 45 yard line. TJ Smith, the one that, that haunted him. We talked about him before the game started. And watch, he is the one who really saves this play. Stops from going any further. Look at that. Josh it's Holt. Josh Holt, and he grabs him and stops him. Big stop there by TJ Smith. Whistle and a foul, a rather no flag. Did anybody move? Is that what it was? Yes. Full start. Yes. Offense. Five yard penalty. Second down. Coach Guess not real happy on the sidelines no. at this no. point in the game. Which you can understand. Yeah. They spread their wide receivers as wide as any football team I've ever seen. Even the motion guy. Up to Merritt. Gear up the middle. Trevor Gear. Regions Bank presents the Aquinas Fighting Irish defense. Four man front Evans, Pogue, Ivy, and AG. The backers are Douglas Banks. Wangness and Smith. And in the secondary, Holmes, Welch, and Gibbs. Good defense. Another first down. Hammond's got him in a, in a rhythm now. Gonna give on the bottom. A lot of territory out there. Makes a play. The seven yard line. Josh Mays with the run there. Nice stop in there by TJ Smith, way downfield. Had some help down there from Justin Gibbs in the secondary. I'm going to bring this one back though. Well, I believe they're going to call a block in the back or a clip. The officials are Steve Burrell, Bo Harrison, Mark Staten, John Heath, Chris Schmuss. Brian Legal block in the back tip, tip the on the offense. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. The game was also the first down. First down. Talked about Eagles landing Christian and the way they get prepared for the postseason by the strong season they have uh, before they get into their regions. Sure. They kicked off with North Florida Christian, Stockbridge, Greater Atlanta Christian. Those are the first three. Mount, Mount Pisgah Christian, then Whitewater, and Wooden Academy. If you, if you survive that, you're going to be okay. Josh Mays on the carry. And on the stop, T.J. Smith. He is a busy man today, isn't he? He is. We've called his name a lot already. He's very active. Tempo Hammond going to give on the dive. Down to the 23-yard line. Joseph Douglas. One of the backers, one of the first to touch him there. May is on the carry. Here we go, third down and three. Motion. And a fake spot. And breaks a tackle or two, gets a first down and four. What an effort. What an effort. They couldn't get him what down. Effort. DJ Jackson finally horse Count the him. green jerseys here that have contact with him on this play. There's one, there's two, two three, there's three, four, five, five and eight, six. six up. That's, oh. <laughs> That's just determination and will. Eagles landing now with tempo. Trevor Gear on the carry across the right side. I'll tell you what, they are getting tempo. No huddle. Hammond. Once more. Give inside. Good defense that time by Aquinas. Excellent defense. Trevor Gear, the first, or check that, John Parrish, the first to hit him down there. Gear on the carry. Yep, Joseph Douglas, 44 in on that stop, too. Different looking formation this time. 
They run motion every play. Going to run the track right at the middle. Down to the two, three yard line. Trevor Gear on the carry once more. They're ripping up pretty good in the middle of the line here. We're getting some good action up front from this Eagles landing Christian offensive they line. They're working, aren't they? They've gone to work. Brought their lunch pail today. Up and did he get in? I, uh, I don't touchdown. know. They're signaling a touchdown. Number four, here, finishes Trevor the here. Yes. They give him the touchdown. He went airborne. He didn't come down that way, though, did he? No, we'll take a look at it. Here it is. Technical College System of Georgia touchdown replay. Watch him go up and down. Hello. And it's no mistake they're going. He goes to the right side of that line to go over. He's following big number 78 as Chandler Reeves is committed to Clemson, doing a big job. He's one of those guys getting things moved around up front for Eagles Landing Christian. Kick coming up. Up and good. Drill that one nicely. Alex Nussery on the kick. Let's go down to Nikki Noto on the sideline. Tommy, Sam, you know, when I was talking to Coach Guest this week, he said in order for them to win this game, they're going to have to establish the run game early and go ahead and set that tempo. He also said, we're just not a team that starts off hot, so we've got to ground, grind you down and wear you down. And again, that all comes back to establishing that run game and finding the tempo. Guys. Thank you very much. Boy, that offensive line just went to work. Well, that's great. G. Manelli. That's a great line. Yates, Bird, Albrecht, Dallas, and Reeves. Oh, They're getting the job done. TCSG, Technical College System of Georgia scoring drive, 12 plays, 65 yards, time of possession, 3 minutes 45 seconds for the Aquinas defense. In all fairness, that felt like an eternity. It really did. It really did. The way that the way that drive, about, and you saw a little bit of everybody touching that touching that football uh, on that drive too. Us three will kick it off for Eagles landing deep to receive as our main man today, Lorenzo Holmes. Let's see if he can duplicate this. He's back at the five. Let's see if he kicks it to him. I, I don't know if I do that again. I don't know. Yes, he is. There it is. No, he kicked it away from him a little. Whoops. And he picks it up and got a block, but not enough. Up to the 18-yard line. Good coverage that time. Holmes goes down at 17. Big hit by 28. Xavier Langston coming in to make a special team stop. Most people don't realize that just the dropping and picking up of that kick messes up the timing of the blocking. On a, on a kick return. It really does. It really does. That little thing. Everything is timing. And it timed out perfectly on that opening kickoff to start the game. Yes, it did. To tell. Up at the 18. Welch brings him up. Liam Welch. To the left side. Hands off to his running back going left side. D'Angelo Durham, who is the leading rusher on this team, Sam. Yep, 154 carries over the season, uh, 1,284 yards, 17 touchdowns. So uh, he's the guy that never been very capable of carrying the ball, but he's been the best one this season. We have called Aquinas High School running back high school because they bring some running backs. And we'll drop some names later, names like Brendan Douglas and a few others who have come through wearing the green and gold, and they can tote the mail, as we say. Got a whistle here. Yeah. Encroachment on the defense. On the defense. Five yard penalty. Five yards. Second down. You know, I'm not sure Coach Guess is going to relax at all on the sidelines today. Look he's at, just. He's pacing all. He moves the whole time. He doesn't stay still. But. There he goes. He's walking again. If I were if I were playing, I wouldn't even look toward the bench. <laughs> I don't want to hear my name called. Second down. Welch gives to his running back. Not much there. As a matter of fact, nothing there. And the guys wrapped him up right there at the stop. The guys talking about the, uh, number 36. Yes. A big stop there. Griffin Alexander. Griffin Alexander. Let's take a look at this defense. Wow. There are some wars going on down there. He didn't need much help, did he? No, no. You got to help us. I got this one on my, on my own. Durham was not happy on that. Third down and less than a yard. Welch, veteran quarterback. He was here as a sophomore. 
Going to run it right up the middle to Durham and fake the short pass to the right side. And he got the first down. That's a great, great, great second effort. You know, most running backs who run it as much as Durham does during the course of a game have got to get warmed up. We used to. We used to call it laddered up from carrying it so much. There you go. You know, and, and the more he carries, the better he's going to get. He'll pop it here in a little bit. But that's a good defensive front we've got working down there with their lunch pails here for Eagles Landing Christian. They've got a lot of size there. A lot of size. Welch going to run the option. Durham, nothing there. Nothing there. Great solo stop. Who's out there? 43. Caleb Dallas. 44. Who's making that stop? Play. For the Jonathan Jonathan Youngblood. He's out there. Nice, nice stop. Holds him up there. Loss of two on the play. Actually three. Second down. 13 now. Impressive thing about 44. He's a ninth grader. A lot of good young players in today's world. That's something. Yeah, we we saw one yesterday. Yeah, Clanch, mm -hmm. a freshman, who looked anything like a freshman. The give up the middle, once again, close in fighting by both sides of the ball. Offensive line from Aquinas gonna have to go to work against this Eagles landing three-five-three setup. There's, they've got some good size there. Take a look at seventy-six. He's a a load Patrick Ivy junior tackle over there and on the other side 79 76 Ethan Crawford mm -hmm. there's there's some good size up there need to get warmed up guys it's third and 11 Welch dropping looking to throw stunt by the defense over shot him up at about the 40 intended for Bradley White White was open just overshot him a little bit. I tell you what, now Welch, Liam Welch, can throw it. He can. He already hit one down here that could have been six. Yeah, we remember that one. That was the pass to Justin Gibbs. Yeah. And he's been one of his reliable hands. Gibbs the 31 receptions this season, but that one just got away, went right through the hands. Definitely. Crimmins Hankinson's going to drop back to the 15 and kick it away. Caleb Hood back there to receive. Well, we got a flag on the field. Legal substitution on the offense. Five yard penalty remains fourth down. Legal substitution. Broke the huddle with too many guys. We might need to check. Yeah, a little head count there. We might need to check with Coach James Leonard and see how he's faring on the sideline. He's not happy about that. No. After this game, this stage of your season. Those kind of mistakes shouldn't happen any. In, at any point at this point in the season. No, this no. is the end of the season. Those things needed to have been worked out. Hankinson, another howitzer shot. Boy, he puts it high in the air. Caught at the 50. No breaking of the tackle there. No return. 30 yard kick, but it was way high Joseph, in the dome. Joseph Neal making a great, great uh, solo stop there, but we got a flag on the field. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Caleb Hood on the return. They're pointing toward Eagles landing. Illegal block in the back on the receiving team. 10 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Block in the back for Eagles landing Christian. Where in the world is our Wookiee of the Year? The satellite coordinates are on the screen. Decode them and tweet us your answer at GPB Sports, hashtag Chewy Unleashed. If you're the first one with the right answer, you'll win an iPad Mini. Do it. All right. Right across the right side. It looks just early on. I know we're in the first quarter, but it looks early on like the Eagles landing offensive line is winning the battle winning at the, the point of attack. Again, they're running by that right side. He got it, comes up with a big stop there to stop him is George Welch, 22. For the time being, need me to say that, and then we get a stunt. 
And we got a running back almost killed. Gears okay. He, he gets up from that like like yeah. Look at this. Will Evans. Defense hit the end. Look at that. Good morning. How are you? It's nice to see you. <laughs> Boy, he was in the right place at the right time, wasn't he? Evans loose to get into that secondary. Eight sacks this season he's recorded. Yeah. Hammond. Screen pass. Got a and down at the 39-yard line. What an appropriate call at the right time. Jacob, Jacob Luke. Luke. Yes, 20-yard pass reception. This was executed perfectly. Starts out one direction, throws back the other way. He's got the blockers in front of him, and Luke knows what to do once he makes the catch. Yes, he does. Nice yards after the catch there. Hammond. Hands on the dive. Got a block at the line of scrimmage. Tell you what, this bevy of running backs they run out there from Eagles landing is something special. Josh Mays on the carry there. And who's there to make the stop? Really, he'd still be running with TJ Smith, the guy we talked about. We have played one. We've had some interesting football action to get you underway here. It has really been a good one so far. We'll be back with quarter number two at the Georgia Dome. Strong Stable Bank, Regions is always looking for opportunities to boost the vitality of our communities. In addition to offering financial solutions for our customers, we are committed to supporting local initiatives and organizations that help our neighborhoods thrive. Regions is proud to be a partner with GPB in building a better Georgia. Today, companies in the aerospace, advanced manufacturing, and film industries need skilled workers, and the earning potential is high. Go Build Georgia can show you where the jobs are and what skills you need to get them. And the Technical College System of Georgia has fast, affordable training for these great paying careers. Build your blueprint for success at GoBuildGeorgia.com and look to the Technical College System of Georgia to put your plan into action. You exercise. You choose the salad occasionally. But staying well, physically, financially, emotionally, it's hard on your own. So Cigna's got your back and your knees 24-7. Cigna's there to answer your questions. Or when you need some coaching. In sickness and in health, Cigna's there, helping you to get well and stay well. That's having a partner who's with you all the way. Cigna. At the heart of our community are the businesses that don't skip a beat. Georgia's electric membership cooperatives stand behind local commerce. Whether keeping farms running or shining a light on new ventures, we bring business, large and small, to our communities. Creating jobs, driving development, supporting dreams. Georgia's EMCs, powering our businesses, lighting the way. should be one whale of a football game tonight. Back at the dump, seven to seven. Eagles landing, Christian and Aquinas. It's been a good first quarter. A lot of activity. Now the Abbey returns for its final season on January 3rd, but before the premiere of season six, catch up on all of the action from last season. Sunday nights at 7 this December, GPB is your home for Downton Abbey and all the great Masterpiece series. Sunday night is Drama Night on GPB. We got some drama on the field. We got some laundry on the field. Yeah. Eagles landing. Really got the tip on the defense. Encroachment on the defense. Five yard penalty results in first down. Coach Leonard's not going to be happy about that because that gives him a first down. He is not a happy man right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jumped right defensive end. Strong side now, the right side. Direct snap. Hammond. Gear. Breaks a tackle or two down at the 20. We're getting great blocking up front. We're, we we're getting good angle blocking and 
Eagles landings winning the battle at the line of scrimmage They're right getting now to that second level but it's working out those linebackers RJS Banks and TJ Smith to get the real workout back there nice cross block down there to gear nothing there on that one but when you get that good cross block coming through there yep. looks like the gates opened up when you're running back they've been able to get that consistently so far in this game strong right Dive play. up and over down to the 15 yard line very close to the first down goes Trevor gear between gear and and uh, Mays. Mays they've been the guys who've been getting uh, good things done they're the workhorses and we get an occasional carry from Cam Nero as well. In the slot. In motion. Right up the middle gear. Knocked down outside of the 10 back of the 13 yard line. Goes up there and Joseph Douglas is there to greet him along with TJ Smith. Making the stop for Aquinas. And Douglas, if memory serves me correct, is the younger brother of Brendan Douglas yes. running back from the University of Georgia who also carried it pretty well yeah. for Aquinas sure did wing back reverse nothing there and now there is something there he's down to the 10 yard line a nice twist and turn strung him out it looked like nothing was going to be there at all for Josh Holt he takes his hand off Look like they're going to string it out pretty good there. But he still manages to stay on his feet and get a pick up about four yards there. Douglas made the stop on that. Going to run the dive right up the middle here. Nothing very good defense by Aquinas. Good movement by the linebackers on that one, Sam. Number 22, George Welch comes on to make the stop and finish it. Great work by the defense here. He's actually the safety. He was coming back from the secondary. He comes put, a up. Little, put a little sting on it, didn't he? <laughs> he did. <laughs> nice stop. Right on Cowboy. Fourth and four. Are they going for all of it here? Yes. And they're going to kick it. And the kick, kick it. Okay. okay. 27 yard field goal. Good snap. Kick is good. Alex Ussery. Ussery with the kick. Nice job. That's a three-part thing. Let's go to the locker room and hear the talk that Coach Guest gave the Eagles Landing Christian Academy Chargers before today's game. All right, and all year long, all I've been talking about, especially with the O-line, chop wood, chop wood, chop wood, chop wood, chop wood. Let me tell you something, guys. It ain't, it's not really about the ax and the tree, okay? It's how sharp is the ax. If the ax is sharp, if the blade is sharp, it will cut through the tree. How you like that one, Tommy? I'm ready to play. <laughs> Uh, I like that. Yeah, I do too. I like it. I do too. Usery <laughs> to kick it away. And back deep to receive. Lorenzo Holmes back at the five. They're trying to kick that thing away from him, and I don't really blame them, to be honest with you. Usery kicks. And it goes into the end zone. He didn't even make an offer for it on that one. Usry obviously got warmed up on his kick and yeah, said, no, you know, I'm not no, what, <laughs> You done that to me one time yeah, today. Yeah, we're going to kick it in the end zone this time. So far, very good football game, 10 to 7. A lot of what we expected from these two quarterbacks. We got two outstanding quarterbacks. I think play. Liam Welch is going to start. Motivating it down the field. Three wides. Well, good pass there. Up to about the 28 yard line where he's knocked out of bounds. Excellent throw over there. Joseph Neal with the reception. He 
Eagle. TCSG scoring drive, 11 plays, 53 yards, time of possession, 358. Excellent that's, drive. That's good use of the clock. Both of their scoring drives have been almost within 30 seconds of each other. Very patterned. Got a block up to the 31 yard line. That's Joseph Douglas. Making the run. He's got 55 carries over 300 yards. 10 touchdowns this season. So when he gets a chance to touch it, he knows what to do. I wonder if his older brother takes him out in the yard on the weekends. <laughs> here, here. Say, here's how it's how done. Do there you go. Tell you what, it's pretty good size. And he's young. Yeah. Welch fakes it, dropping, throwing too high. Pass intended for Justin Gibbs out there, the wide receiver. This is a young Aquinas team when you look down the list of players who are on the field. They're young, they really are. They except really for are. Welch. This guy knows how to throw a football. If he gets it, if he gets the radar set in, You'll he can something. make it, he can make it a long day for the other team. Yeah, he can. Welch. Gonna get it. Watch him get great block in the middle there. Elude a couple of defenders. Lean forward with an extra three to four yards at the end of that carry. There's there's something ballet like about a great running back. They just got that good fluid motion. Gonna give it to him again. Bureau not much there, gain of only a couple. He was not happy with the shove he got at the end of that. Host of defenders there, 45 Harrison Taylor in on that stop. Also 36 Griffin Alexander turning him back that time. If you look at his helmet with the stickers on his helmet, obviously he's had a good year. Yeah, very good year. Or else he got into the coach's office when the coach wasn't <laughs> there. No, yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't think that. I prefer to believe he, he's had a good year. Yeah. Here's Welch with the 47. Gonna hand it to Durham again. He's gonna plow ahead down to the 45. Gain of only a couple. Good defense that time. I tell you what, those backers for Eagles Landing Christian are the real deal. Chase Burnett has been special. Just staying right in there. He and number 36. Griffin Alexander had really gone to work on the inside. Aquinas going to call timeout on third down and six. Let's take a break with them. It's timeout. Timeout down on the field. Eagles landing Christian 10, Aquinas 7. More hot and heavy action from the dome when we return. Garner from Forest Park High School sparked an interest in me to really push me in education, uh, to be more than just a student athlete. You know, each and every day she challenged me to be a leader, a role model, and somebody positive in our community. I can never uh, thank her enough for, for, for what all she's done for me. And there are teachers just like Miss Garner all over the state of Georgia today. Think about the linebackers from Eagles Landing Christian. Give me your analogy of them, Sam. Well, these guys are like like hitting. They're all over the field, and they show you what's, what's helped to get this team to this point. We talked about things with Hamill on offense, on offensive side, but this defense has looked good for them. And the guys up front, the three up front, have been getting the work done. I mean, they're an awesome defensive unit. You have to have good linebackers if you're going to have that three-man front. Yes. You just have to Absolutely. have great linebackers who can run. And they've got a group of them here.
And those three that put their hands on the ground are not bad either, are they? Not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> Look at there. That's Chase Burdett. He's the guy right in the middle of it. Look at the stickers. Look at those three that put their hands on the ground right here. Let's watch them a little bit here. Welch dropping the throw. In trouble. Big trouble. Back at the 49 yard line. About the guys that put their hands on the ground. They brought the pressure that time. Burdett made the tackle. But the three with the hands on the ground they cleaned it, it up. Harrison, they, they Harrison Taylor, up. Dalton Hardeman, those guys are the ones who got it started. Look, here they come. Look at this. Here comes the pressure. Wow. Right there, Montero Boyd almost had him. But Burdett comes in for the finish. Hankinson's going to kick it away now. Back at the 37-yard line. It almost looks like they were trying to do a screen. Hankinson off the side of his foot. Almost hit one of the wide receivers in the head. See one of America's great traditions with the lighting of the National Christmas Tree. Host Reese Witherspoon joins President Obama and his family, plus performances from musical guests Fallout Boy, Aloe Black. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and more. It's the National Christmas Tree Lighting this Thursday at 9 p.m. Love things like that. Yeah, it is. Holiday season. We're less I than like two weeks. We're something? less than two weeks away. Is that something? Have you bought my present yet? Uh, no, I, 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 know, I, know, I know you've been good this year, so here's a present. There you go. <laughs> you've been good. I've been told you've been real good this year, Tom. There you go. <laughs> Hand off to the running back off the right side. Trevor Gear on the carry. Gain of a short one. What looked like an offensive explosion early in the game has turned into business work. Got a block at the corner. Screen pass to the right. Cam Merritt making a nice catch and then I picking up some yards afterwards. Hammond with a nice throw. This guy runs more yardage than anybody else with his motion and with his patterns on every play. Strong right. Direction after Hannah, who fell on it back at the 20. Hate to see that happen, but he did the smart thing just to fall on it. Have to try to pick it up, try to make any type of play. There you go. Look at it. It just went through his hands, I believe. Maybe a little to the right, but since he's right handed, that's where he needed to put it. Right. He just got away from me, Coach. Or have you seen that guy that's playing over my head, right in front of me? The nose guard, or the nose tackle, as they call it. You see what he does to people? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh. Deep punt. Got a Danger Will Robinson got a block at the corner and out of bounds at 43 yard line. George Welch, nice, nice return there. Coach Leonard also had a meeting with his team before today's game to inspire them. Let's go inside the dressing room. All right, everybody in the state's picking you lose by like 21 or something. All right, everybody's down. Saying there's too many people. We don't have enough players. All right? Go out there and do what you've been coached to do. Got me? Yes, sir. Seniors, it's your last time. What, 80 all right? 80 yes, all. Last time you do this. Make it count. All right? Do it together. Love everybody in this room. Let's go win it. Let's go. Short to the point. To the point, though. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done a good job with this program for a young, young coach. Young coach. And uh, there, of course, he, he's, uh, he's an Aquinas graduate and one of the victories this season that makes them know they're on the right course. They beat Lincoln County. Tremendous heritage family-wise through Aquinas from yep. the Leonard family. Yep. The give was to Durham up the middle. Very little there. Gain of a bit. Gain of four. Second down and six now. Welch going to bring them up, spread them out. 
Scott Durham his lone setback. Brooks got a run and going to be caught and thrown. Those three up front. Wow. And then also Jonathan Youngblood, 44, he just grabbed onto him and just wouldn't let him go. Here's another look at watch for 44. He's going to be the first guy there. Montero boy right there and he just holds on to him until everybody else can get there. There are those two linebackers and Montero Boyd going to help out not that they needed any help. No but 44 got there first he said he's mine but y'all come get him. <laughs> I'll tell you these five linebackers. They are playing all over the field. But those three guys up front. There's a stunt coming. Over to the right hand side over at the 22 yard line. Goodness gracious Isaiah Mays. Watch this Welch in a hurry throws. That's Josh Mays first that yep. Isaiah Mays comes in to help finish. Good coverage over there. Eagles landing has got players. Yes they do. They do. Aquinas, Aquinas has players. And everybody's playing well at this point. Hankinson going to kick it away again. Rolled it back there. There's another nice high high punt. <laughs> Juicy number eight. Just stand still. I don't want it hitting me in the head. Trey Douglas. Downfield covering 35 yard punt. Gets a great hang time out of that one. He's done the last uh, the last couple of punts as he is hung up there, so there's no chance of a return. Yeah. He's doing that consistently. Alex Essery had a nice 49 yard punt. There was a 28 yard return on that. And now we've got Eagles landing with the ball yet again. As the first half is getting away from us here. It's kind of slow with the action. Hammond throwing out of bounds. Good pressure that time by the linebacker for the Irish, Joseph Douglas, that sophomore linebacker. Doesn't look like that's where Hammond wanted to go with that one, but he saw the pressure coming and really just wanted to get, get rid of it in an area where there's nobody had a chance to catch it. Look at Douglas here. Look at that. That was in a hurry. Gonna run the speed sweep. Gonna be knocked down at the 39 yard line. Josh Holt on the carry. And big number 65, that defensive end, Will Evans on the stop. Interesting thing about Evans, he's a senior. One of the very few seniors on this Aquinas team. Hanneman rolling the throw. Missed the tackle. Now got time. Gonna throw it back across the field. Incomplete. Man. Good pressure that time by the defensive end. He almost got him in in deep, deep territory back there. Will Evans, you talked about him. He's a senior. Eight sacks, 12 tackles for loss this season. He loses one defender right there, but he will not get away from Evans making, it, making the, the big pressure on him there. DJ Jackson also back there hurrying. He, he, he wanted to level him. He thought better of yeah, it. Yeah, he though. pulled up. But he put enough pressure on him to force him to not make the completion. I tell you what, Jackson and Evans have been busy. He's on the move, folks. Do you know where our little Chewbacca is headed? The satellite coordinates are on the screen. Decode them and tweet us your guesses at GPB Sports. Hashtag Chewy Unleashed. You could win an iPad Mini if you're the first person to figure out his destination. That could be most anyone. Oh, oh of no. course. Wow. Wow. I'm looking. Yeah. One of those coordinates. Somebody at home will get it, though. Okay. Yeah. I think so. But we can't win, unfortunately. We can't win. I know, I know, I know. Listen, what a great, a great gift. Yes, it is. Now we've got a minute 32 to go here before halftime. Take a look at uh, 
T.J. Smith, number nine there in the huddle. Man, you're talking about a fine-looking high school football player. He's he's the guy who makes that defense go. And you can tell because he's all over the place. I mean, uh, he, he's a guy from sideline to sideline. He's one of the guys who makes things happen. He's done it all season long for this football team. Uh, he, along with number eight, our Tess Banks, uh, some guys who just, uh, you know, they're patrolling the field have been the keys to this, to this uh, defense for Aquinas having success this season. Like the way he's directing traffic out there. Got to put it away again. Wow, another long, long punt. Eagles landing Christian 41 yard punt that time 49 the last time no return on that one. He is getting it done is young Alex Usry. Has a field goal 27 yarder and that's the difference in the game so far. Yeah. Well Aquinas now with a minute 22 to go in the half. They're going to take the ball. They're starting from their own 20. See if they can get some points on the board in close enough range. Try to get some points on the board. They're going to the locker room. Let's see if we can see something deep here. They've not run anything deep so far. Deep pattern. Welch, senior quarterback, dropping, looking to throw. Got a man out there. Followed it and dropped it up at the 28-yard line. Gibbs is just having a tough time this morning. That's the second one. That's the second. The long one that went through his arms earlier. And this one, and he's been a reliable set of hands for him. 31 catches this season. Sure. Uh, he's out there, and there's a pass. Nothing wrong with that. It not, was a little behind him, but not little, terribly. Little behind him, but he got both hands on it, just couldn't pull it in. I love Welch's form. He is picture perfect with his throwing form. He throws it as nicely as any high school quarterback you'll see anywhere. Perfect posture when he throws that thing. Welch. Got a whistle. Whistle. Got a timeout. Eagles landing Christian wants a timeout. I timeout. Think, yeah. I Eagles landing. Third and final timeout of the they half. Be, they may be able to get the ball back with some with some good uh, field position before all the clock runs out. Well, we're playing field position now, which is kind of normal. Yeah. And you know, when you got a 10-7 football game and a state championship, you don't want to do anything foolish. No, you don't. You really don't. You don't want to do something that. And right now, the thing is, we can go out now and get a stop on them. See what they can do as far as uh, as far as getting maybe the ball back before all the time runs out. We'll see. Well, Eagles landing gets it back in the second half. They won the toss and elected to defer. Let's take a look at the Eagles landing Chargers resume. State champions in 2012 and 1996 and 2014. Very unique team. They started 0 and 6, won seven straight to make it to the finals. They have eight region championships, five straight. Record since 2010, 65 and 15. They've known the joy of victory and very little of the agony of defeat. Eight yeah. straight playoffs, at least the second round of play. Yeah, great expectations always for that program. And once we mentioned also the, the, the strength of the schedule that they play, the pre-region pre, pre -region schedule uh, that they always play. Uh, sure. It's always designed with this time of year. That's what they're looking forward to. Well, brings them up. Everybody spread out on the wide receivers. Good protection. Welch throwing complete and out of bounds. Pass is complete to his brother or George Welch, but not enough for the first down. Take a look at it. Nice route. Look at his form. He throws it as well as anybody. Really does. Coach Leonard talks about how much these guys throw together, have thrown together over the years, and you know they can find each other with the lights out. Yeah. You know when you have that kind of timing and you thrown to someone that long. Third and short now. Third down and three. Welch brings him up three wides to the left. Good snap. Too high. Could be intercepted. No, 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 no. no it's it's hit, it's it's hit the ground. Hit the carpet. Almost Trey Douglas. Trey Douglas, yes. He's right there. Fourth down now for Aquinas. A minute six left before half. Take a look at it. Good throw, a little too high. A little high. Yeah, it hit the ground. Or hit the carpet. But as we mentioned with the timeout, look at what's happened here. He threw the pass, incompletion stops the clock again. Minute six to go in the half. Eagles landing Christian about to get the ball back. And the George Welch reception, he went out of bounds, remember? Yep. Hankinson. End over end kick, gonna bounce and bounce and bounce. 
And Aquinas going to down it at the 42-yard line. Less 32-yard kick by Hankinson there. Wednesday nights on GPB are jam-packed with a full serving of science and nature shows. This Wednesday, get a glimpse of the inside fascinating city of Maku Pishu on time scanners. Then find out why honey badgers are one of the Internet's favorite animals on nature and on Nova. See what scientists think may be going on in a galaxy far away with alien planets revealed. It's all on Why Wednesday, starting at 7. Back to the action, and Trevor Gear goes right to work. Right up the middle. Gear on the give, right up the middle from Hammond. Whistle. We want to measure. They get the first down. He's close. He's real close to that first down. Maybe a little shy of the ball. About a ball shy, I would think. I don't know a if it's football. a ball shy. I don't think it's a football shy. You don't think? No, I think it's tighter than that, Tommy. I think it's a football shy. Well, here we go. We're going to put it out there. No. Yeah. What did I say? Yeah. Close. Close. No, you win. <laughs> you win. Half a football shy. Half a football shy. Is that okay? That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Eagles landing with 41 seconds left in the half. And the lead 10 to 7. Hammond. Are they going to call timeout? Yes, Leonard, uh, Coach Leonard's going to talk things over with his defense and Coach Guess with his offense. We've had a good first half here, even though the score is just 10 to 7. It's been full of action. It We've really had a little been. of everything. We really have. We had some great defensive plays, some hard hits. I had the excitement to start the game. You can't top the way this game started and with an opening kickoff, all the way uh, run, return for a touchdown. You get things started. Just a tremendous uh, football game so far. And you know, we'll see what happens if we got 41 seconds. Eagles landing Christian. Uh, that offensive line has worked so very hard. They've done a great job. Can they get them to the end zone? We'll see. All right. Have an iPhone or iPad. Stay connected to your team and every high school football team with the GPB Sports Football app. Now you can watch today's game live wherever you are. Get the latest. Find stats and matchups. Take interactive 3D tours of stadiums around the state. Tweet game highlights and get up to the minute scores all Friday night. The gridiron is now digital. Download the free GPB Sports Football app from the iTunes App Store now. Direct snap to Hammond. Gonna get it to Gear. Gear gonna break the tackle to two for the first down. And a fight for the ball. Eagles landing Christian holds on to it. I thought Douglas had it down at the bottom of that so pile. That was the ruling that the runner was down. Well, I'm not sure they may have said that, that the runner was down before the ball came out. Gear. I think the ball came. I think he may have. Yeah, Smith pulled it out of there. Yeah. Hammond rolling the throw with 22 seconds left. Deep. He's got a man out there. Just overthrown down at the eight. A little too long for Cam Merritt. He was there and just a little bit too long for. Came across from the left side. Deep. Hammond rolling, 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 looking. Nice throw. Just out of the reach. Cam Merritt, who runs more yardage than any other Eagles landing player, doesn't he? He does. He's in motion. He's the wide out and He's runs constantly deep moving. Yes, he is. Moving. 18 seconds left. Hammond brings him up. Four man front for Aquinas. Gonna give on the draw. Got a block to the corner. Getting help and finally pulls him down. Lorenzo Holmes made the stop. He grabs on and just holds on to it. <laughs> he said help. Josh Mays. Somebody, somebody come up. He's got nine seconds here. They're gonna try to line up for a field goal attempt. Okay. Here we go. Usri. 48 yarder. It's good. Whoa. Whoa. What a way to end the half. I'll guarantee.
to you. That's the longest he's ever kicked. Put you on a bet. What a time to have it. What a time to have it. Last play. You want to do it? Listen, hey. we started on a high and we left it on a high. That's up and <laughs> Kickoff return. And now a, a 48 yard field goal to end the first half. Folks, we've done our work here in the first half. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> oh, we've had such a good time. 48 yarder. Man, oh, live usry just drilled it. We've given you a 99 yard kickoff return by young Lorenzo Holmes. And now a, a half ending kick. Let's go down to uh, Nikki Noto on the sideline. <laughs> Coach, a 48 yard field goal closes the half. How was that for you? Uh, it gives us momentum, you know, kind of aggravated, made a lot of mistakes offensively uh, that man, we need to give back. And defense has played great. Seven points is all special teams. So we got to come back and win the second half just like we won the first half. What do you think are the biggest adjustments that you'll need to make at the half? I mean, like you said, defense has forced five punts. Right. Coming into this game, you wanted to establish the run game more. So what kind are you looking at? Well, we, we definitely got to get that run game back. You know, um, we want to wear them down you know we, we turn the ball over and we drop the ball so we made a lot of mistakes I don't think we want to change anything we just want to keep doing what we're doing without the mistakes all right thanks coach good luck yeah, second thank half. you guys Jackie Mark if one of you guys had to make a 48 yarder I'm putting it on Jackie <laughs> good one I like that that's a smart move <laughs> she has better legs than I do I will say that <laughs> I could make that <laughs> <laughs> coming up we are at halftime of the class a private school championship game we'll hear from both marching bands and both principals as they talk about the excitement going on at their school we'll also hear from some proud parents as they boast about their champion at halftime and we'll check in to see what fans are saying online in the social media world and I believe we have a winner for Chewy Unleashed Unleashed. That and more coming up on the GPB Halftime Show. Stay with us. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. There's a lot of anticipation in the air right now. And it's a great night for high school football all over the great state of Georgia. But you gotta take it. The GHSA Football Championship games continue all day, right here, only on GPB. Whether you plan to attend a two-year college, four-year university, or go straight into the world of work, the Georgia CTAE Work-Based Learning Program teaches students essential career skills through real-world experiences and on-the-job training. The new College Football Hall of Fame and Chick-fil-A fan experience puts fans closer to the game experience. Featuring over 30,000 square feet of college football interactive exhibits. Tickets available at cfbhall.com. We are at halftime of the single-A private school championship game here at the Georgia Dome. The first of four big games will be bringing you on the second day of GHSA championships. Right now, the score at the half, the Eagles landing Christian Academy Chargers lead at 13-7 over the Fighting Irish of Aquinas. And we're only just beginning a full day ahead, and the conversation online has been crazy. We've had a lot of fans tweeting us, so keep that conversation going. Find us at Facebook and Twitter at GPB Sports, and you definitely 
definitely want to make sure you're doing it today of all days because this is the last day you'll have a chance to win an iPad Mini. You definitely want to be a part of this contest. And we have a winner for our Chewy Unleashed contest. Brent Wilde correctly determined that Chewy was visiting Saqqara in Giza, Egypt. Why was he there? Well, you have to do a little digging to figure that out, quite literally. He was, guess, he was visiting the dog catacombs of Anubis, which archaeologists found a few years ago that there were over 8 million mummies, dog mummies, at this sacred site, proof that ancient Egyptians didn't just worship cats. So that is really interesting fact you can take away for the day. So congratulations, Brent. You win. And as you can see here, Chewie hanging out with his friends in Egypt. So there will be another opportunity for you to win an iPad courtesy of the Georgia Vocational Agriculture Teachers Association, part of 127 career pathways available to Georgia high school students. School counselors have all of the details, and you can learn more about that at gadoe.org. So be sure you are friends with us on all social media so that you have a chance to win that. Also, if you send us photos, you will win a free selfie stick. So we have a few photos here. Uh, we've got Scott, we have uh, fans saying we can't make it to the Dome. At least we can watch it from home. Go Aquinas, hashtag Dome Wars. Make sure you're hashtagging Dome Wars as well. And then we have this fan. They were here at the game yesterday, and they found themselves on TV, so they sent us to that. That was pretty great. And then we have football is for dogs as well. This is Harley. He's hanging out watching GPB Sports with his Christmas hat, getting in the spirit. Also, don't forget that we have a poll, and this is where we stand so far of who you think will win the game here today versus Elka and the Fighting Irish. And so far, you can see 64% of the vote think that Elka is going to take it. So tell us who you're rooting for. Tell us where you're watching from. Use the hashtag Dome Wars, and you will have an opportunity to win an iPad Mini and also some selfie sticks later on in the show. Time now to check in with John Nelson. He is where we often find him in trouble in the principal's office. He's checking in with the Eagles Landing Christian Academy principal, Richard Allen. John? Yes, it is that time to catch up with an old friend. What's going on in the land of the lightning bolt these days? I have a great week this week, John. We, uh, in preparation for this, a big charger walk yesterday, a school-wide charger walk, uh, excited everybody. And then we've got exams coming up next week getting ready for our big world impact mission trips uh, next year we'll go to four different places all over the world probably uh, three-fourths of our high school students will be involved in that so really excited about that some great things going on there good deal it is time to play the game brought in via lightsaber this weekend here's the question the festival of kwanzaa is derived from the swahili term matunda ya kwanzaa what does that mean is it a winter solstice B, first fruits, or C, light and peace? Wow, I should know this, shouldn't I? I guess, C. It is B, first fruits. By the way, Kwanzaa is not a religious holiday, but a cultural one with an inherent spiritual quality. Sorry. No, it's all good. I tried my best. That's all good. Thanks for hanging out with us, and good luck in the second half. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. Good Thanks. to see you. One round of Are You Smarter Done? Back to the bridge. Thank you very much, John. Time now to check in with the marching band from Eagles Landing Christian Academy, brought to you by Regions Bank. by the Eagles Landing Marching Band uh, Academy there, brought to you by Regions Bank. Time now to play a little game of rent check where we check in with the parents, and Jackie is down with some very proud parents right now. Thanks, Mark. I'm here with Dennis and Mary Beth Welsh. They have two sons who play for Aquinas. Liam is the quarterback and George is the wide receiver. But today we're only going to ask you questions about Liam. We'll keep it pretty simple for you. Are you excited? 
oh my gosh, crazy excited. <laughs> Nervous and is the better word. <laughs> emotional too. <laughs> All right, well, let's get it going. If Liam could play any sport besides football, what would it be? Baseball. It says baseball, what do you think? I'd say baseball. He said, I'm planning on going for golf in the spring. Okay, well, there's news to you, okay. His favorite pregame meal would be? Pregame, probably pork chops. I'd say pork chops. Grilled chicken sandwiches. Okay, it's all right. We'll make some adjustments here. Okay. <laughs> if he could hang out with any celebrity for a day, who would it be? Celebrity? Y'all know who we're talking about, right? Liam. Yeah. 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 Oh, right, right. Liam. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd say Will Ferrell. Matt Damon, actually. Okay. Favorite movie? Favorite movie would have to be. Um, Oh, um, what's that? Hunger funny? Games. Hunger no, Games. The funny, no, that's my favorite movie. No, that funny. What's that funny? It's Shutter Island, guys. Okay, they're 0 for 4. They're 0 for 4, but you know what? We're going to give you some GPB swag and a selfie stick. So make sure you take pictures here and send us your photos. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Mark will send it back upstairs to you. All right, thank you very much, Jackie. There's much more to come on GPB's championship halftime show. We'll hear from the Aquinas marching band and their drum corps. We'll also play another round of Are You Smarter? And John's Georgia hits the trail. He'll have the story of, a sing of the single-A private matchup between these two teams. They've never played before, and he's got both coaches talking about that. All that and much more as the GPB halftime show continues on GHSA championship weekend. We are at the half. It is Elka taking on Aquinas and the Chargers. Chargers lead the Fighting Irish 13 to 7. Questions. Can't wait until morning. So I'm one of many nurses at Cigna with answers anytime, day or night. I'm Lauren, and I've got your back. Nothing prepares you better for a great career than the technical college system of Georgia. TCSG colleges produce graduates with the knowledge and training today's top employers are looking for. With campuses across Georgia, state-of-the-art facilities, and outstanding instructors with real-world experience, it's the kind of affordable college education that will fast-track you into a rewarding career. We're building a better future for you. Contact the TCSG College in your area today or go to tcsg.edu. Across 91 counties, Georgia's cotton industry employs over 15,000 people with more than 3,000 Georgia farmers that bring cotton into our everyday lives. When life turns up the heat and the pressure makes you sweat, there's one sure way to cool down. For those glory moments on and off the court, cotton is with you for the win. Cotton, the natural choice for Georgia. That's a fantastic finish. The GHSA football championship games continue all day, right here, only on GPB. During this performance, one student will drop out of high school. Be there for your big finish. Game day brings out the best in all of us. Cigna covers preventive care. That's having your back. Welcome back to the 2015 GHSA Football Championships Halftime Show. We're live at the Georgia Dome, live on GPB. We are at the half of the very first game of the day, and it's the Chargers of Eagles Landing Christian Academy leading the Fighting Irish of Aquinas out of Augusta, Georgia, by a score of 13 to 7. And now we're going to check in with John Nelson and Maureen Lewis, the principal of Aquinas High School, with another round of the show that's taking the country by storm. It's time for Are You Smarter? 
All right, it is that time to play Are You Smarter? But first, we're going to find out what's going on at Aquinas these days. Gosh, so much. We're going into exam week now. In January, we have um, March for Life, sending kids to D.C. for that, Disney trip for seniors, and school-wide day of service. But more immediately, we're going to win this football game in the second half. See, there you go. We like that optimism. Time to bring in the question via lightsaber. And here we go. It is on this side of the pond. I guess that means here in the States. The most that misbehaving children have to fear is a lump of coal in their Christmas stocking. But in certain Alpine regions, there's an ancient legend of St. Nick's evil sidekick who doles out punishment. It's even the subject of a new movie. Is it the legend of A, the Krampus, B, the Kravitz, or C, the Grumpus? C. It is A, the Krampus, or Krampus, actually, I think is how it's pronounced. There even used to be Krampus cards, I guess intended to scare the wits out of naughty tots. Hollywood has jumped on the Krampus bandwagon because clearly the holidays, they aren't stressful enough already. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you. Go Irish. There you go. Send it back up to the bridge and Jackie. That was pretty good. All right. It's time to strike up another great band. It's time to listen in to the Aquinas High School Drum Corps presented by Regions Bank. championship game where Elka is currently leading Aquinas 13 to 7 and then coming up around 1 p.m. today you've got Pace Academy the Knights are taking on the Fitzgerald Purple, Purple Hurricane at 430 it's the 4A action between 14 and 0 undefeated top ranked Cartersville taking on the defending champions the Buford Wolves and at 8 p.m. the 6A showdown two unbeaten teams Colquitt County the defending champs in 6A taking on the Roswell Hornets. And now we introduce you to a man who needs no introduction, John Nelson. But you're going to do it anyway. That's right. The author of five books, two on high school football in the great state of Georgia, a segment we call John's Georgia, brought to you by Georgia EMC. And these two teams, while they both won a recent state championship, they have never played each other before. And this is the fun part of this time of year where you get these matchups. We've had a couple of first timers last time in uh, Friday night's matchups. We're going to spend some time in diverse power Flint energies and snapping shoals EMC to let you know what these two coaches feel about playing each other. Well, they're very well coached. Um, coach does a great job with those guys. Very disciplined. Uh, their offense is unreal. Um, defensively, they get after you, but uh, I would say their speed, they're scary fast. Aquinas, you know, really ever since, you know, I can remember us becoming um, a contender in single-A football. I remember Aquinas being a contender in a single-A football. Um, and there was always situations where we could end up playing each other, but we never did. And so we've never played each other as dominant as they have been and as good as we've been. We've never, we've never had to cross our paths. And so um, really we're playing each other. We're very unfamiliar with each other. We've never, you know, I've probably never even seen, uh, watched a whole game of them play because even teams that we play have never played Aquinas unless it was way in the beginning of the year. So it's going to be very interesting. I think both teams are led uh, by really great quarterbacks, both um, you know scholarship type quarterbacks and definitely the leaders of their team. So it's going to be a very intriguing matchup there as well. 
And Coach Guess, he ain't lying <laughs> right now. He's up six, but we knew that this was going to be the kind of game we were going to get for this title game. All right, John's Georgia brought to you by Georgia EMC. There you have it. It's almost time for the second half, but first it's time for our career play of the game presented by the Technical College System of Georgia. Love working on computers? Let the Technical College System of Georgia help you qualify for one of thousands of job openings in computer technology. TCSG offers you free tuition for high demand careers like web development and design, IT, computer repair, and much more. Change your life. Kickstart your career with a free education in 10 hot hiring fields. Enroll today. TCSG.edu. That little Chewy, he gets around. He does. I wish I could travel like that. Man, he's going to all these places I've never been before and that I'd love to love to be a part of. So, yeah, make sure you're around at the tailgate party to see how you can win an iPad Mini. All right, we're going to take a short break and then come back for the second half of this big game. Tommy Palmer and Sam Crenshaw will have the second half of the Eagles Landing Christian Academy Aquinas game. We'll see you again when we hand out the trophies. Enjoy the second half. Providing safe, affordable, and reliable electricity requires more than bucket trucks and utility poles. These are the faces behind your power. For more than 75 years, Georgia's nonprofit, member owned electric cooperatives have been on a mission to brighten the lives of more than four and a half million Georgians. We are Georgia's EMCs, proudly serving our members, lighting the way. All this going on and on about how different we all are. Here's an idea. Let's talk about how we're all the same. How we live. How we love. The young. The old. The way we wear our hearts on our sleeves. The way we get up, my friends, and the way we get down. From our back roads all the way to our tree-lined streets, it is on Sunday that we are all the same. Because on Sunday, we are all Falcon. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Welcome back to the single A private championship here at the Georgia Dome between Eagles Landing and Aquinas. Standing with you right here is Coach Leonard from Aquinas. Coach, the only points on the board right now come from that opening kickoff return. How do you generate more offense in the second half? We got to do a better job catching the ball. You know, we, we got some routes that are open. We feel like we, we got to do a better good job throwing and catching. Uh, offensive line, we need to tweak a couple things, how we're blocking, but I think it'll be there. Coach, I saw you have a conversation over there with your quarterback, Liam Welch. What'd you tell him? Just told him I loved him. You know, calm down. We're going to be fine. Uh, they're giving us a different look than we thought, so everybody's a little rattled right now, but just to calm down and get back to what we do. What's the plan in containing Eagles landing run game? Oh, I think our defense is playing great. You know, uh, Coach Wiley and the defensive staff are doing an awesome job. We just got to really put our noses down and play hard. All right. Thanks, Coach, for your time. Good luck. Thank you. Tommy Sam, it's all you. Thank you very much, Nikki. Good work down there with Coach Leonard. 
I tell you what, it's been a great first half. And let's take a look at those scoring plays and talk a little bit about those. Oh, Sam. my goodness, what a start. Tell me, you can't think of a better start for a state championship football game. Lorenzo Holmes uh, woke us up this morning. If you weren't awake after this play, you were wide awake. Touchdown. They got Aquinas on the board first, electrifying the place. Of course, the kicks are coming from Alex Ushery. Getting that one to go. 48 yard at the end of the first half. And here are the numbers. Look at what they've done rushing. Goodness. 169 to 36, 28 to 15. Total yardage. Aquinas way behind. And of course, that just tells you the time of possession is pretty equal. There you go. There you go. Passing yards. A little surprised by the passing yards. Look to see that change here in the second half, Tommy. Yeah. Hankinson's going to kick it off as we head into the second half of action in this private championship. Little onside kick to shake things up to begin with. And it's down at the 30 yard line. No harm done on that one. Just mixed it up a little bit. Hankinson obviously has watched some film and doesn't feel safe kicking it deep. And of course, after his teammate ran that opening kickoff back. Yeah. Holmes, it was like, you know, the same thing could happen to me. Eagles landing Christian Hammond. Gonna run and be knocked down at the 40 yard line. Eagles landing Christian has been methodical on offense. They don't huddle, but they, don't, they, they show great tempo. Watch this to the left. Nothing there. And then good defense out there by Aquinas. Nice stop. Burke A.G. with the stop on that play. Hammond going to run for the first down at the 50-yard line. Student body right has worked almost every time they've run that particular speed sweep out there. They really have. You take what's given to you, you find that, that that's working. There's a block there. Great run. He gets it up to get the first down and steps out of bounds. Just before T.J. Smith comes up there to run him out. Got a, got a whistle though. Will Evans on that play knocked the offensive tackle on his back when he turned. Will Evans has brought his lunch pail this morning, folks. That kid has really done a good job at defensive end. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. We play second down. Second down and a bundle. This offensive tackle in the left defensive end. <laughs> they're going at, at, at war. They're going they're at, at, at a war. Evans on the right offensive tackle. That's Chandler Reeves. They are having a good time with each other. Pushing and There's a pass complete up to the 32 yard line. Cam Merritt on the reception. Nice solo stop by Lorenzo. Hammond on target. Hammond on target. Just underway. If you've just joined us, you have missed a dandy thus far. Lorenzo Holmes. The corner on the right hand side. Split left, split right. Man in motion. A lot of movement. Empty backfield. Hammond flushed out of there. Gonna run, gonna stop, gonna throw. No good. Batted away. Wow. Did you see the lick Holmes put on him even though he didn't catch it? Josh Holmes had the ball. Hit off of his hands, go straight up into the air. And Holmes was there to put the big hit on him just in case he the hand. He lit him up, didn't he? Here it is. Watch this. Here's the replay. Hammond's a loser that finish. Thinks about running. That's Oaks. I got a man here. Throws it to him. Bounce out to him. Look at the shot he takes. I told you. He lit him up. Whoa. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Can if, I bring if, you a cup of coffee? If you're going to take that lick, at least hold, hold on to the ball. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. Another one of those Howard shots. I tell you what, this kid can get it done. He's been 49, 41, 47. He's been in the 40s. And I tell you what, it looks like a howitzer shot when he when he kicks it. It's up. It does. He kicks, as the coaches say, he kicks a pretty ball, Tommy. He kicks a pretty <laughs> yeah, ball. Pretty, pretty ball. Pretty ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what it is. Yeah. 
Liam Welch. This guy was here two years ago as a sophomore and had a great game. Let's see what he and Durham and the gang can do for the guys in green and gold. I'm sure they're ready. Three wides to the left, one to the right, direct snap, give to Durham. Not a lot there, looking outside, Durham got a step, got another one, and knocked out of bounds down to the 34. Oh, he wanted that touchdown. He did, he did. He couldn't beat the safety to the corner, 43-yard run. That's almost as much yardage as they had in the first half. They had 51. Here's Durham watching. Sure, yeah. Look how he carries that ball there. Nice and tight. How about the sideline? They finally shove him out of bounds. Great run there. Angelo Durham. Here's another look at it. Bounces outside. He's got the sideline and hopefully able to push him out of bounds there. When you got a run game, you got a throwing game if you choose to throw it. Welch gonna run the option. Durham again. Down to the 26 yard line. One of those linebackers came over there and put a stop to all of that. Durham needs to get warmed up. So let's just give it to him three or four times here and see what happens. That's what it looks like we're doing here to start the second half. Just let him touch it and turn it up and feel see what's happening. That's 33. Chase Burdett coming in to put the stop on it. You're kidding. <laughs> He's been in on every defensive play in the game. He is all over the field. He is. Durham, 10 carries, 88 yards so far. 8.8 .8 per carry. Fake. In the throw. Reed. Got a block. Down at the 8 yard line. 17 yard pickup. Joseph Neal on the reception. Good target by Welch. I tell you what. You may get tired of hearing it, but I think Welch is one of the finest quarterbacks I've seen in a long time as far as his posture and the way he delivers the ball. You know, he wanted some things to go better in the first half, and you heard what Coach Leonard said coming out of the locker room. Yeah. He spent some time with him, talked to him, say, calm down and just play your game. Welch takes the snap, gives it to Durham. Not a lot there. With those three backers jumping up into your face, there's not going to be much there. I tell you what. Eagles landing Christian brought three or four of the finest linebackers you can see. Watch you him see here. Him right there. Look at there. Three. There he is right up in the middle of Chase Burdett. You Burdett. talked about him. Mm. He's right there making the stop. It would take some convincing for me to run up in there with Mr. Burdett. That's, that's, tell you. that's why we talked about him from the top of the top of the test. Well, Down inside the 10 yard line. Yards are getting hard to come by down here, Tommy. Yeah. The space gets a little thin yeah, down here. Yeah, not a whole lot of room there. You got to fight for whatever you get. That Durham got knocked back. One yep. linebacker knocked Durham back. And on that stop, Dalton Hart had been 50 also in on that along with Burdett. All right, three wides to the left, one to the right. Well, looking over a three by three. And Ryan got a throw. Joseph Neal knocked down at the five yard line. And Isaiah May is coming in for the stop to give him a bump. That brings up fourth down. I don't know if they're going to allow the young kicker to try a field goal here. Coach Leonard said he felt confident with him. He's a good punter, but he's young. So I think they're going to go for the all the marbles here on fourth and goal from just outside the five. Welch marking the signal. He's going to throw it in the end zone. Some other passes. He's had problems today. But I'll tell you what, when you call this number here, he hauls it in. Caught the toughest catch of the day <laughs> in a crowd. <laughs> the most difficult ball that's been thrown to him all day long, and he pulls it in. Take another look. Technical college system of Georgia replay. Watch Gibbs here. Up and over, and this one's mine. <laughs> Great one. 
right over Trey Douglas, who's an excellent, excellent defender for the Eagles and the Christians. Halfway or off, barely one-fourth of the way through the third quarter. Aquinas regains the lead. It's Aquinas, 14. Eagles landing. Here, beauty is a lot more than skin deep. For more than 100 years, we have focused on creating individual success stories. This is a place where professors are mentors, competition is cheered, collaboration counts, experience is hands-on, and connections are lifelong. VSU, over 100 majors, championship athletics, focused on your success. Justin Gibbs with a dandy catch in the corner of the end zone. He had to do good footwork down there, too. Great footwork and great concentration to pull that one in. We talked about how the first half had been, had been kind of cruel to him. They had a number of drops. But look at this. The concentration to reach out over that defender and pull it in. This is mine. You're not taking this one. Good footwork down there, too. Jump ball. Pull it in. Nice Touchdown. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down to Nikki Noto on the sidelines who got a good look at it as well. I got a good look at it, Tommy and Sam. But hey, look, at the half when I talked to Coach Leonard, I asked him two things. One, how do you generate more offense? And two, I saw him talking to his quarterback while he was warming up. These were the two things he told me. We've got to connect on the pass. And he told his quarterback, I love you, brother. Go out there and play your game. Obviously, that conversation, it executed beautifully right there in the end zone finding Justin Gibbs he is there between um, the quarterback and Justin Gibbs they are that one-two punch that Coach Leonard talked to us all familiar this week Liam Welsh that's his go-to target Kermit Hackinson on the kick Caleb Hood on the return new business for Eagles landing Christian that was an excellent drive by Aquinas. It really was. Excellent drive for them. Great great for do with their first possession there with the second half. And now they have the lead. It's fun to play from in front. First and ten from the 30. Hammond. Man in motion. Gonna give to give. Nothing there. Look at that. Aquinas defense go to work there. Good work by that defense. Nothing there for Trevor Gear. There you see Artes Banks, number eight. DJ TJ Smith, number nine. Nothing doing. And Douglas, young Douglas, the sophomore. You you don't usually see a sophomore linebacker right in there. Hammond. Outside, tough to bring down. Finally wrestled down up at about the 37 or 38 yard line. And George Welch is tussling with him. He's trying to take the ball away from him. <laughs> he and won't let him have it. George Welch from the secondary is Liam Welch's younger brother. He's reaching in there trying to grab. Give me that. Give me that. He got the ball. <laughs> but out of bounds. Out of bounds yeah. <laughs> There's Mr. Smith, your linebacker. Let's watch these backers work here on third down and three. Power to the right. Is that Douglas? I think it was Douglas. 44 is Douglas. Hammond, yeah. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Douglas came out of there with it. Joseph Douglas with the recovery. Look at that hit, though. Wyatt Wangness. And that puts the Aquinas offense back on the field. Let's see what they got. Juggler vein right here. Here we go. All the marbles right here. A little too hard. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. I never was an offensive coordinator, but that's what I would have done, wouldn't you? Yep, the minute you get a turnover, you got to go for something big. You could go for something big. Welch going to come out for a moment. Liam Welch, the older brother, the senior. 
second down and 10. 626 left in the third quarter. Aquinas with the lead for the second time today. Durham on the carry. Nothing there at the 40. Down there at the 40. 36 Griffin Alexander's right there. That stung a little bit. Yeah, he's still down for a minute. That's Douglas. That's Douglas. Was that not Durham in there carrying? No, that was Douglas. Wow. That's got to hurt there now. One of those linebackers you don't need going out yeah. from carrying the ball. He makes it to the sideline. Let's see what's going on here. Third down and nine. It's a long nine, too. Durham in it, the tailback. Welch. Looks over a three man front. Going to stunt up front. Looking. Got him out there. Well, well, well. That's the gifts is just warming up. <laughs> Running a button hook, as we call it. Yep. Running the old stopping. Get it to me. Rose out there. Look at that form. I'm He's telling looking, you now. Looking at it all the way in. Got to make it a great catch. And signaling first down at the end of it as well. 11 yard gain. Watch this. No need to help the official. There you first go. down. <laughs> He's having a good time now. Little dump off pass. I believe that was batted down or somebody backed into somebody. It looked like that was deflected. Yeah, Welch just turned around and shouted at somebody, and it wasn't kind. I believe somebody backed into him as he was throwing the ball. Might have been, mm. might have been Durham, the running back. Because that's not the kind of pass he throws. Second down uh, and no, ten. No, it's not. Not at all. Durham. Nothing more. I tell you what, for a three-man front, they do work up there, don't they? They do. Montero Boyd and Harrison. Taylor, Dalton, Hardeman. Yes, sir. There they are. They just look at them right there. Yeah. These guys with their hands on the ground on defense, folks, if you've just joined us, you need to enjoy watching these guys play. They get after it good. Look at that helmet. Yes, sir. Well, rolling under pressure. Tucks it. Knocked down hard at the 25 yard line. Dalton Hardeman, one of those guys up front. One of those three big ones up front. Yep. They are healthy, aren't they? They are healthy fellows. Yes, they are. <laughs> they, they are that. 50, 53, and 45. We got fourth down. And a bundle. Man. This is a long, long way on fourth down. It's a good call because you're in their territory. Deep in their territory, and you got the lead. At that time, I think somebody missed a signal somewhere along the way because yeah. Durham did not take the ball, and I'm not sure Welch was supposed to do that. But it kind of collapsed all at one time there. It did. But it got blown up by the defense. That might have been the problem. That helped as well. Yes, it did. Not to, not to play you expect to see a fourth and uh, fourth and seven in that no. point, but the ball goes over. Yeah. Hammond. Anderson Meriden knows it. Run it up to the 33 yard line before he's brought down. That was gear. Gear on the carry. He's had a good day at the office. He has. And our buddy Merritt has run some yards. In motion again, he goes. Give it again. Here, nothing there. Very little there. Knocked down over there by our friends. Artest Banks and TJ Smith. Those backers are good. Yep. We've seen good linebacker play. We have. We have. Both sides of the ball. Both of these teams. Once more, Gear going to go for it. And I think he's got the first down. Wyatt Wagnus is doing a good job on the other side of the ball for Aquinas as well. 
defensively. Direct snap. Gonna run the screen. Got a block and gonna be knocked out of bounds. Look who's out there to run him down. Yep. TJ Smith. TJ Smith. 10 yard gain. Josh Holt. Hammond. The Holt. Gives it a minute for the blocks to develop, and then he gets around the block. Gonna give that extra step, but before he can get that extra step in, good. TJ Smith to come in to make the stop. First down. In motion once more. Got a block and a whole lot more. Trevor Gear right up the gut. Another first down. And that time, TJ Smith, if he doesn't make that stop, Gear's still running. Yes. He's the last man left. Look at him get through here, break the tackle. Smith came from behind to knock him down. These linebackers from both teams tackle well. And he's going to run to the right. Will Evans. Did you see Welch and Evans out there? Look at that. 65. Will Evans. <laughs> he is. He is a great defensive end. He's working. He's working out there today. Yes, he is. And first down, down across the 38-yard line. Josh Mays on the carry. And Evans is signaling to the sideline like there was something wrong with some of his equipment. Knocking down as he gets down to near the 32 yard line. He was looking which way to get some extra yards and he went one way and he ran right right into the back of Jacob Luke. Here he is and Luke's throwing a block for him out there just right whoops on well and there are the backers coming up to clean everything up. Burke AG helping out there strong side now moves to the left. And to give to Mays. Broke a tackle and another. And now it gets caught and thrown at the 27-yard line. Third down. Well, it's first down. They give it to him. George Welch is just getting up off the turf. He's okay. He's the one that made the stop on that play. Yes, he did. There he is. Well, to sophomore, he's a safety. Coming up to make a lot of stops today. Hammond. Gonna send Holt into motion. Stops. Now gonna give on the dive. Here. He turns around and runs into big trouble back at the 28 yard line. Man. Look who's back in there. We just saw him limp off a few moments ago. He's right back. There he is. Wyatt Wagness. Goes one way and he turn him around. With there Evans. He is. Evans turns him back the other way. Yes, he did. And Joseph Douglas is there. Put the stop on him. Douglas, yes. Wyatt Wangness is 46. Douglas is 44. Those backers. Artest and Smith and all that gang over there. They're putting on the hits. Yes, they are. Douglas going to run it. Going to run over our friend at left end over there, Will Evans, who didn't horse collaring gain of about four on the play yeah, that's the quarterback Hammond keeping that time getting some yards Hammond's done a great job too cut back keep his right. balance yes Got play right up the middle down to the 18 yard line Trevor gear on the carry Fourth and one. Do you go for it here or do you kick the field goal? They, wow. They've got the kicker. They do. We've seen that. We'll sort it all out when we return. It's a dandy. Aquinas 14. Eagles landing Christian. Knocking on the door. Will they open it when we return? We'll let you know. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. 
This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Like, I don't really you, gotta, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Anticipation in the air right now. This is a rivalry that both teams want to win. Let's go, D. Let's go. We got more right from them. This is our game. GHSA football championship games continue all day, right here, only on GPB. Whether you plan to attend a two-year college, four-year university, or go straight into the world of work, the Georgia CTAE Work-Based Learning Program teaches students essential career skills through real-world experiences and on-the-job training. Let's go down to the sideline, Nikki Noto. Nikki? Tommy, it is a Douglas family affair here on the Aquinas sideline. I've got Kevin, the youngest brother of the Douglas family. He is the ball boy. This is this is the longest he has been still the entire game. His brother Joe was number 44 for Aquinas. There are three other brothers that have come through and played for Aquinas. You know, it's just, it's a family affair. They're all very close. Coach Leonard even told me that Kevin down here, he's the next in line that hopefully he's gonna come through and play. And he's even his mini me, usually mocking exactly what Coach Leonard wears on game days, Tommy. Fourth and short. Hammond, broken tackle, Hammond. Hammond, touchdown. They opened the door. What second effort and the balance to stay up and get into the end zone for the touchdown. 18-yard touchdown run. Good work up front. Technical College System of Georgia instant replay. Take a look at it. Well, right behind the big guys. Ran over Holmes down at about the 10. We talked about that Eagles landing line and what they've been doing. The guys on that side, Albrecht, and Jake Dallison, Big 78, Chandler Reeves. They're the guys that help make it happen. We've got us a dandy here. Technical College System of Georgia instant replay. Eagles landing 19. Aquinas 14. I would assume they're going for two here. Three wides to the right, two to the left. Hammond. Hold in motion. Looking, looking, chased. He's going to get there. Two point conversion is good. 21 14. Started right. Everybody went in that direction, and I looked up. I said, Man, it's wide open. If he goes back the other way, there's nobody home. You know, we haven't seen this many times out of him, but on the last two plays, Hammond has another gear. Watch another gear when he cuts back this way. And there's nobody's going to be quick enough to get to him. No. Great effort. The last two plays this guy's done has just been outstanding. This is almost solo work other than the bunch that up front that got him the break. They have been doing the job talking about the offensive line for the Chargers. And the other gear is the gear that runs number four Trevor gear. <laughs> it, it, and he's he has a, he's had a great day so far too. TCSG scoring drive 13 plays 73 yards time of possession 
long, four and 33. Four minutes, 33 seconds. That's their longest drive of the day. Rounding that clock. They run clock, folks. They run clock. And there's Hammond's numbers for the day. Good look at him. He's had a good day. Usry going to kick it off. And deep to receive Lorenzo Holmes. Let's see if they give him another touch this time. Standing back of the five. High driving kick. We he didn't catch it. He had it bounce in the end zone. No. I thought he was going to catch that. I thought he maybe underestimated that. I thought it was going to be far into the end zone, but instead it bounced just short and went over the line. Yeah, true. If you've been patiently waiting for the return of Sherlock, you're in for a treat on New Year's Day. The Abominable Bride, a 90 minute holiday special, is coming to GTV. And the episode features a major twist. It's set in the 1890s London. Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman star, along with many other familiar faces from the regular series. It's a new year and a new Sherlock. The Abominable Bride premieres Friday, January 1st at 9. Thrown down. Well, goodness gracious, number 99 came in with a vengeance. Harry's Black. Black, a sophomore defensive lineman who we have not seen that much of. There's a lot of him to see. Yeah. <laughs> Look at like him. You haven't seen much of him. There's a lot of him to see. Yes. Look at him. Look at this guy. Wow. Mm hmm. First time we call his name today. Yeah. Write that name down for future reference. Yeah. You need that. You need to be back to next year. He's a sophomore. And the game. He missed the ball. They're going to call the fumble. They're going to say he was down. They're going to call him down. Call him down. Big fella, big fella got quick. Tyrese Black. Big fella moved kind of quick there, Tommy. Yes, he did. He saw that pumpkin. I'll tell you how big he is. He can go bear hunting with a switch. <laughs> He's a big With fella. a little stick. He is. This guy is big. And they're putting him at nose, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. And they put him at nose tackle. Yeah, but look, that ball comes loose. He knows what to do. Yeah. <laughs> he is a load. Look at him. Well, throwing batted down at the line. Somebody touched it at the line of scrimmage. Intended for George's brother, George Welch. Incomplete. Fourth down. There you go now. Or would you kick it away? Yeah, you need to kick it away here. You have to kick it from here. Was it? Yes. Let's see, was it deflected? Let me guess. 99. 99. Yes, it was. Look at him. Where has he been all day long? I know. He's coming. He's just taking over. He's probably the freshest player on the field. That's the reason. Look at this guy. Good kick. Beautiful kick. Going to go out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. We have played three quarters plus. Eagles landing Christian. We will be back after this timeout. Eagles landing Christian with a late touchdown. Join Chef Vivian Howard for a holiday special from a chef's life. Vivian and her family explore Southern traditions new and old, and of course, spend some time in the kitchen with the restaurant staff at Chef and the Farmer. It's a heartfelt family exploration of what a traditional holiday experience can be this Monday at 7 on GPD. The magic question we need to ask is where has 99 been and why? I don't know. We first Did he not make the team bus this morning? He just showed up. 
goodness gracious. What an impact, though. Yes. Did he make an impact or what? Yeah. Tyrese Black. Hammond. Uh -oh. Jumps offside. Was he wrong? Hammond. Encroachment. Encroachment, On yes. the defense. defense. Five-yard penalty. First down. Yeah, Artest Arches Banks. Artest Banks. Got a little anxious. First and five. A lot of plays in your playbook for first and five. Hammond looks over a five man front. Hold in motion. He's going to come up short of the first down, about the 38 yard line. There's our guy, Will Evans. Yes. Once more. Talk about the game he's played. You know, I've, I've wondered, I, I, I called him the left defensive end, but he plays anywhere he really would like to play, obviously. <laughs> uh oh, caught him in a stunt. And ripped him pretty good on that right side. Yeah, did that happen? Yeah, they were switching sides. Didn't get there in time. First down. As Gear picks up the first down. First down, 10 now. For Eagles landing Christian. Ten minutes left in a game, but when you got a seven point lead and you're running clock, it could get dangerous here down the stretch. You can. Getting personnel on and off the field. Gonna run the screen. Got a block out there, broke a tackle. Cam Merritt on the catch. TJ Smith on the tackle. Our test and Smith is a reason. That they have been the leading tacklers. They're all over the field. There's Welch. And there's Smith cleaning it up. Hammond hands to Gear, who knocks it down to the 43 yard line. Gain of three, second and seven. You're going to go to the sideline and get a breather. We talk about how Eagles Landing Christian has been methodical really all day long, but the way they run their, their, their possessions, they run a lot of clock before they score the last touchdowns, over four minutes. This is something that Aquinas doesn't want to happen. Yeah, Josh May is in the backfield now. Here goes Hammond. Got a block and first down. Down at the 33 yard line. Over to make the stop, DJ Jackson, one of the first ones. Hammond's just getting lubricated up, isn't he? He really is. He goes around that left side. He's got a lot of blockers right there, even out in front, throwing the block from his Josh Mays. He helped get him even more yards. Good blocking out front by Mays. Hammond looking over a three man front. Now they roll another backer up. Going to send a man in motion. Going to run inside. Missed a tackle inside. As Mays goes down after a gain of a couple. Ran a stunt that time with TJ Smith. Well, Joseph Douglas was the first one there. He stopped him right, right, right at the line, maybe a little bit behind the line, but he couldn't hang on to him. Couldn't wrap up on him. Smith was there. Clean up everything. Gain was two, second down and eight. 825 left in the game. He was landing with a ball in the lead. Oh. Counter up the middle, low cross blocking up front, and Mays on the carry. Here it is again. See the guards pull there. Yep, yep look at that. Open it up. Well, work for those linebackers. I'll tell you what, those guards up front for Eagles Landing are getting it done too. Oops, somebody jumped. Flag. Yeah, the left tackle. He just flinched a little bit. Mm. Full start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Two downs, Austin Burr. Nice third down. He moved a little bit over there. The left guard, yeah. I'll tell you what, when you look at those Aquinas linebackers and you think they're about to stunt, there's a reason to flinch <laughs> just a little bit with your hand. Those guys being business. Yes, they do. I tell you what, these both of these football teams have been first class today. They have both played well. Strong right formation. Hammond gonna send hold in the motion again. 
Correct snap. And Hammond is going to cruise in for a touchdown. This outruns everybody. 32. Look like he had that one. He faked that hand off the right side, and there was nothing but green grass in front of him, Tommy. He just, he has another gear yes. when he gets to the corner. Yep. And here's the technical college system of Georgia. Take a look at it, Sam. That's it right there. Fakes the handoff, gets to the outside, and there's really nothing there. There's one defender, there's a little step on him, and goes on in for the touchdown of Michael Brown. Who is a sophomore. Right there. You see that little stutter step just for a second. Make him think he might cut back now. Nah, he's going all the way for the score. Extra point coming up now. Four Eagles landing. Kick is up and it's good. Eight plays, 69 yards. Two touchdown lead now. Eagles landing Christian, 28, and minus 14. More after this. GHSA Championship is made possible in part by Regions Bank. It's time to expect more. Georgia's Electric Membership Corporation, lighting the way. Technical College System of Georgia, learn more, earn more. Cigna, together all the way. And viewers like you, thank you. The GHSA would like to thank Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. You exercise. You choose the salad, occasionally. But staying well, physically, financially, emotionally hard on your own. So Cigna's got your back and your knees 24-7. Cigna's there to answer your questions or when you need some coaching. In sickness and in health, Cigna's there, helping you to get well and stay well. That's having a partner who's with you all the way. Cigna. Debt-free education, high wages, and flexible schedules all lie within Georgia's rapidly growing skilled trade industries. Take the first step in establishing your career by visiting GoBuildGeorgia.com. What is by moonlight an empty field is by the magic of electricity, sacred ground. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives proudly support our student athletes. We are there, illuminating the glory moments fans just have to see. Capturing the hustle, elevating champions, sharing the win. Georgia's EMCs, empowering our youth, lighting the way. Celebrate the holiday season with the 2015 National Christmas Tree Lighting. Performances by Fall Out Boy, Kelsey Ballerini, Aloe Black, Crosby, Stills & Nash, Miss Piggy, and more with host Reese Witherspoon. Presented by the National Park Service and the National Park Foundation. Thursday at 9 on GPB. Saria will kick it off. Score and drive, 69 yards. Eight plays, 3.15 time of possession. Usri kicked it. All the way into the end zone, and yeah. uh, Holmes just caught that when you, you couldn't return it. Glad to see him catch it. We, yeah. were, we were hoping he caught it the first time, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Got to start. Look at look at DJ Hammond for today and what he's done. The difference in the second half with him, what he's been able to do with this football team. Right, three carries, 27 yards in the first half, eight carries, and a bundle in the second. Yeah. Hammond has 107 yards. Gear 95. May is 81. Before this is over, we can have three 100-yard rushes in this game. Goes down hard at the 20. He stepped up because 99 was bearing down on him. You see, he just missed him. Where Ty has 99 Tyrese all day. Black is back out there, folks, and I'm telling you, he was coming. <laughs> he was putting on some pressure, but Welsh was able to step up and avoid him. He's making that passing attack miserable back there for Aquinas at the minute. Let's see what we get going here. Liam Welch has been running for his life last two or three minutes back there. 
Trotman looking to throw. Got George out there. First down up at the 37 38 yard line. George Welch is sophomore brother. You can tell they played catch in the yard. 17 yard gain on that one. And that's the kind of thing that Coach James Leonard wants to see him do to get himself down, settle down, and, and try to get this team upfield. You got uh, approaching a little under seven minutes to go in this game. Nice completion right there and pick up the yards with it. And let's see if that gets some things going in the right direction. This Aquinas offense. Welch brings him up, looks over a three man front. Here comes the stunt rolling and somebody flinched on the right hand side up there. And they got a timeout call. Timeout. Eagles, Landy Eagles landing. The coaches First and a half. Up the sideline. They get a timeout call. Let's take a look at Aquinas and take a look at their resume. This is a very good program and it's really been good the last five or six years. State championship in 2013, 14 and 0 on the year. 26 game winning streak was stopped in the semifinals. Three straight region championships, five straight playoff appearances, 1957 to 2012, no 10 win seasons. And the region they're playing in now, region 7-8, includes maybe a familiar name to our Georgia football fans. Lincoln County Red Devils. Lincoln County, Coach Lennon says that was one of the wins that. Here's the way they won it. There's Welch as a sophomore. Look at this. Thank you very much. They were very good. And the crowd was excited with good reason. There's the John Mars. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Aquinas is no stranger to the dome. No. Nope. There's Welch as a sophomore. Somebody was happy. I bet that was George because he didn't have a uniform on. George would have been in the eighth grade then. Yeah. Okay. Here's Liam Welch dropping the throw, looking complete. And knocked down at the 41 yard line. Joseph Neal on the catch. I'm sure they're taller, bigger, faster quarterbacks in the state. But the posture this young man uses when he throws the football with his release at the top of the cycle up there is about as good as you're going to see. There you go. And he dropped it. George, you're going to hear about that one yeah, tomorrow. You will. Yeah, you will. Come on. In the big game, too, you got to haul that one in from your brother. Good throw, though. Liam and George Wells. That's a special thing. You know, it has to be. Watch this. Liam, good throw. Perfect. Got knocked out of his hands. Mm. Yeah, that's defensive back. Good play. Defensive back. And out of bounds. Third and six. Give it to the big back and let him run up in there and do some damage. There's 99. Durham. Tyrese Black. Tyrese Black has been the deal here in the fourth quarter, hasn't he? He has come out and made his presence felt. Yes, he has. Fourth down and four. This is the key play in a ball game really right is. here. 525. You gotta have this one, Tommy. Yes, you do. Well, three wides right, one to the left. Snap. Whistle. whistle and Aquinas going to call timeout. Obviously, Coach Leonard wanted to Aquinas. take a look at what kind of defense. First time out. Going to put up against that look with the three wides to the right. But Aquinas has had a good balance of what they try to do, and it's just been extremely difficult for Durham to get to get through. Let's take a look at Aquinas' schedule and results. Take a look at this. Glen Hills an upper classification from them. Prince Avenue Christian, their only loss. Our Lady of Mercy, Stratford, they beat them twice. Mount the Sales, Hancock Central, Lincoln County. That was the key game that won the region for them, and they win that one 24 to 3. They beat Stratford 48 28 in a region game, in a crossover game. And then in the playoffs, they beat Brookstone out of Columbus and Christian Heritage and Stratford Academy. A Stratford Academy, once again, that's Mark Fariba's team in the mid state down there. Yeah. Boy, I tell you what, they've got it going down there, too. New to the GHSA their right. second year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell you what, Aquinas did some really good work this year. Looks 
still got, they still got more work to do. Yeah. Five, five, 16 to go. Key play in the game. Fourth and four. Well, looking, got it to his brother. First down. Down to the 44 yard line. Excellent catch. We've this got another look at that. I'd that, like to take a look at just the way that looked. The pass coming out of his hand down to George. There was a pocket where he found it out there in the zone defense. Welch dropping the throw. Whistle. But let's take let's take a look at this one. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. First down. Five yard penalty. Take a look at this pocket where it opened up. And watch Welch just put the thing in there. Zippity doo dah. That's what you want. You That's want the way you do it. You, know. you can do that all day long. That one's going to be open all day long until they come running up, and then you throw the long bomb that's on. That's what them. you do. That's what you do. And that's what they're giving you. And George gets right there, gets in that little, finds that little crease, gets comfortable right there, he, he connects with him, and they get that first down. Welch with Durham behind him, first and 15 at midfield. Good snap, low snap. Looking. Did he get out of bounds? Did he, was he out of bounds? Did he call it the catch? Yes, he did. Got one foot down. Liam Welch with an excellent touch. Here we go. 20 yard completion. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Here come the Fighting Irish back. Welch looks over a three man front. Now a four. Gives it to Durham. Nope, that's Douglas. Up in there. Douglas on the carry. Nope, that's Wangness. Nope, that's Douglas. Let's Don't get it right in a minute. That's, that's Douglas. Douglas. That's Douglas. Welch. Looking, looking, got time. Throwing. Oh, beautiful throw. Beautiful throw. I think it hung up there just a little bit long and long enough for the defender to make a play on that ball. I tell you what, as good as Liam is throwing it, Welch is that good of a receiver. He is a fine looking sophomore receiver. Watch for number five, Josh Mays in this play. It's like the ball hangs up there long enough for him to come back over, make the play, grabs the arm. Grab the arm. And the ball comes out. Perfect throw. Welch brings him up. Had to reach for the. There it is. Intercepted. Overthrown. Overthrown that time. Caleb Hood on the interception down there. 18. And that was big. He had a receiver out there, just clearly overthrew him. 18 yard return. And Caleb Hood was just back there waiting on him. He was the last man back right at the goal line. All in the interception. Here's a little look at it, Tommy. Like I said, they had a little trouble with that snap, hauling it in. He throws it over, badly overthrows his man. Yeah, down there looking for Bradley White. And it was overthrown, looking at it again. Just a little bit overthrown. I think the snap may have messed up the rhythm of that play a little bit. And to give up the middle. It's gear. Gear again. So now you got Eagles landing Christian back with the ball. They have the lead, and now they're going to look to run that clock. Yeah, they're going to run clock here. 3:45 left in the game. They feel like they've got this one salted away. Just make a few first downs, and we're done here. That's you, the you, you make it sound so easy. It's state championship game. I know it is. Hey, but when you're two touchdowns up. With 3:45 to go, now 3:25 to go, and you got the ball. Mays. Nope. Gear. Trevor Gear. And the timeout to stop the clock. Yep. Aquinas calling timeout there, and they've got a couple left. Could do it. Working. We saw a game here last night with Westminster. 
and what they were able to do in the fourth quarter to come back into that game to force it to overtime and get the win over Blessed Trinity in the, in the Class 3A championship game. Yep. Gear has now 99 yards. One more yard, and he goes over the 100 yard mark and joins his teammate, DJ Hammond. Let's take a look at Elka's road to here. North Florida Christian. Stockbridge, Greater Atlanta Christian, Mount Pisgah, Whitewater, Woodward Academy. I tell you what, when you're playing Woodward and Greater Atlanta Christian and Stockbridge, you got your hands full. Those are tests. Those, yeah. those are tests. Very definitely. But in the playoffs, they just really roll past people. They roll into this dome. I tell you what, this is a good football team. Very good football team. Real. They came in here last year at Mount Perrin, if you remember, and pushed them. They came back with a purpose this year. Okay, second down, or rather third down now, and about six. Third and six. Who called that timeout now? It must have been Aquinas. Now or is it Eagles landing? Yeah, both of them now have one timeout left. You want to make certain of what you're doing here. We saw a game. Yesterday, Westminster and uh, Blessed Trinity. And Blessed Trinity. We saw one that we thought was over. It wasn't over, it wasn't was over. it? What a finish! Yeah, probably finish. one of the best games ever been played in the dome. I know it. And, and the crowd was electric. Oh, wasn't what it? An incredible crowd for those two. Games. Wonderful. <laughs> On third down conversions, Eagles landing is eight for 14. That's a pretty good day at the office. Yeah. Third down and six. 3.15 left. Eagles landing Christian with a ball. And a key possession down. Somebody jumped over there. Procedure. Offense. Five yard penalty. Five Say third down. A little difference in third and eight and third and 13. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five oh, yards yeah. difference. Yeah, man. That's and that's sure. that's tough at this point in the game. So it's third down and 11 now. And of course, Welch wanted to get back in there and get another shot at it. Yeah, if he can. Let's see if his defense can get him that chance. There's Hammond. Nothing there. He fights his way forward up about the 23 yard line. Many, many Aquinas players on that one. There's Wangus, one of those getting up from there. And then, of course, TJ Smith, Artes Banks. Fourth down, nine yards to go. And you're reminding your special team right now if you're Eagles Landing Christian, make sure clean snap. That's the first thing. And watch for the block. Yeah. Here they come. End over end kick. Going to bounce and bounce and bounce. And get away from it. Back at the 29 yard line. Wow. Gibbs almost made a bad mistake there. Well, he, was thinking about it. he was thinking about it. Yep. You know. But I'm sure he's near his sideline. And I'm sure the coaches are probably telling him stay away from that thing. Jump. Get out of the way. So Liam Welch was hoping for another opportunity to get back on the field. He's back on now, but he doesn't have a whole lot of clock to work with. It almost hit him. Look at there. Watch him jump. Whoa. 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 Hello. Welch dropping, looking to throw. Got a man out there. Gibbs. Out of bounds. 216 left. He's had a much better second half than first half. He really has. And I tell you what, both of these wide receivers are the deal. Gibbs and the young brother Welch are both both very good. Gibbs just a little unlucky there in the first half. He so. was. He was Welch with Durham behind him and now blocking. Throwing complete yet again to Gibbs at about the 47 yard line. 
Isaiah Mays has had a good day at the office out there too. Yeah, he's been working. He's defending on the play. Yes, he is. Pass out here. Gibbs has it, but Mays is right there, not giving him any room, making sure he gets out of bounds. Welch dropping the throw. Little pressure out of the pocket. Now gonna throw. Got a man there. Out of bounds. Wow, what a throw. Great at the needle. And George Welch. Familiar, the familiar target. George Welch. He threw that thing on the line. Look at this. Right there. Yeah. George Welch inbounds. Just inbounds. Welch. Dropping the throw, looking, got it, Welch, down at the 12. Thought he was going to be able to stay on his feet there for a moment, but he ended up going down. 136 left. The Welch brothers have come to play, haven't they? Watch this. Look at that catch. Great catch, great throw. Welch. Dropping the throw, looking, now going to run it. Got room. Welch down inside the five, down to the three yard line. 119 left. Yeah. Everybody back up to the line. Got the play called. Now they're going to call it again. No, he's going to take it. Whoa. I thought he was going to spike it. It looked like the, that was the, the plan. For him to get tackled there in the middle of the field, the clock's going to keep running. Yeah. Looked like he was looking and then was going to try to. He can't do that. And he goes down hard. Back at the 10. Here's Welch. In a hurry. Looking. Pressure. Now going to break free. Good score. Welch. Touchdown. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we got a flag back at the 15. Flag back of the 15. What an effort. What an individual effort that time. We had holding. By I Liam think. Welch. I, I think we did. I think we had holding. Boy, what an effort by Welch. That remarkable effort. 38 seconds left. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty. Repeat third down. Third down. Aquinas down there. Listen, you never know anymore. They score here on side kick. You don't know. You really we don't. can't say it's over. That's why they play the full 48 minutes. Look at this effort by Welch to get in the end zone. Running away from trouble, diving over trouble into the end zone. That's just a lot of wheel and determination right there. That's a determination score there. Yeah. Welch standing at the 29. Looking, throwing. Batted down. down. That linebacker in the middle who has been a giant presence. Chase Burdett knocked that one down. Just reached those bits up there and knocked it away. Burdett is special, isn't he? He is. Showing you can drop back in coverage if he needs to. And Alexander also very good. We have seen some talent on this field today. Fourth and a bundle. 24. This is the ball game for Aquinas. Yep. Aquinas directing traffic. Good snap looking. Throwing. Intercepted. Gonna be run out of there. Flag down. And here goes Eagle Landing. Hood, Hood with a hundred yard return for Eagles landing Christian. My goodness, there is a flag on the field. Back before the pass was thrown. Now let's see who this flag is against. Let's see. 100 yard Here's return. The call. Here's the call. Illegal formation on the offense. That penalty will be declined. Decline. Results of touchdown. Touchdown. 100 yard interception return. Caleb Hood. He's had a day. Any other day? He's had a good time. Here's another look at it. Welch throwing. Hood. He was throwing for Douglas. 
Good step in front. Escapes danger. Nice block Good right block there. there. Yeah. All the way back to second interception of this game. Interesting point. It's a hundred yard interception return as we see the extra point come here from Ussery. It would be 102 yards because he caught it two yards deep in the end zone, mm -hmm. but they just count the 100 yard return. Kick is up and it is good. Eagles landing 35, Aquinas 14 in the game, much closer than this score indicates. In really the NFL, would. that would have been a 102 yard interception return. Yeah, but he only gets 100. Only gets credit for 100. But he can go in the record books with several kids in the high school ranks who have done the very same thing. Well, he's well, his is a special because he, with that run, he seals the victory for his team today. The second interception and brings it all the way back for the touchdown. And at 35, 14, only 12 seconds to go. Elka's last five playoff appearances, 49 to seven last year. Calvary Day 35 for 34 in overtime champions in 2012 33 to nothing over Prince Avenue in the semis they lost the landmark 14 to 7 lost to clinch in the quarters in 2010 34 to 27. Tell you what. Yeah, sad faces on that sideline. Nothing Obviously. to be sad about. No. When, when you look at the score, it certainly is totally different than that 35-14. Eagles landing. Christian got that long drive, that four minute and 14 second drive, which took a lot of time off the clock and put them up 28 to 14, where DJ Hammond just really ran pretty much the whole way down the field. He yeah. just loaded it up and went student body right, student body left. Got him into the end zone. Driving kick, which is going to be picked up at the five yard line. And here goes Lorenzo. One more time, Holmes going to try to run it back. And we've got one play left in this one, barring a penalty. And the crowd below us, very proud of their young men's work. You can hear the Aquinas crowd right below us. Yeah, yeah. They have been round of applause for a great season. It has been a great season. And they're going to miss this guy. Senior quarterback Liam Welch. He's special. He is special. I don't know where he's going to play, but he will play at the next level. That's for sure. If he doesn't, it will be a grave misjustice. This young man is the deal. Hammond the runner. Welch a great thrower. Looking, looking, gonna throw deep. And out of bounds. Final play of the game. Congratulations to Eagles Landing Christian Academy. They're the winners over Aquinas 35 to 14. A very good high school football game and a great way to kick off. One of the greatest weekends in high school football. Day two. Here at the Dump. Day two. Day two the GHSA yeah. State Championship weekend. And we kicked it off with a great. We started off with a bang. 100 yard kickoff return yes. right from the very beginning. And this game had excitement written all over it, Tommy. Definitely did. And it uh, has been a fun two days for you and I. And I'm sure the guys coming up next are going to have a lot of fun with their games as well. <laughs> There you see the players there. Uh, yeah, it's a custom. They, they fought hard. Both teams fought hard. In the end, though, you show that sportsmanship. You tip your cap to them. Yes. And they did. Yes. Great sportsmanship. Heavy hitting. A lot of work. Heavy work. And uh, you have to feel good about the way both teams played, Sam. You really do. It's true. Because they surely played well. Coaches exchanging greetings. Neither team anything to be sad about. Not at all, not at all, not at all. 
As we take a look at this game, I don't know that there was a turning point. Both teams had opportunities. Right. Uh, both teams had good efforts. It was just D.J. Hammond, I think, took took the game over first part of the fourth fourth quarter, Sam. It was there in the second half. He seems to, to step forward. You saw the numbers. He had a very different second half from first half. He really just asserted himself within there and some opportunity to turn in some great runs, plus the work up front. That, that Elka uh, offensive line, those guys were working hard all day long. And the defensive line, you can't say enough about number 99 who came in the game late <laughs> and just really dominated. Tyrese Black, tackle. we're like, where did uh, he come from? I don't know. <laughs> He's I a don't big know. guy. But the three guys who were there before he got there yes. really did yeoman work in the first three There's quarters. There's a look at him. He's just, he just a sophomore. I got a feeling we might see him back in this dome again. Look I, at would, I would think so. That's a sharp looking guy. Yes, he is. <laughs> As, as my buddy Sam Bars, who worked with me for many years, would say, he sure does pass the look test. <laughs> that, that he does. That yeah, he does. That he, he does. does. He really does. Indeed. Well, that be a little celebrating down in Henry County tonight. Definitely. And uh, justifiably so. And the people at Augusta are going to be a bit sad on the way back. But when they think back and think about this football game, it was not over until it was over. That 100-yard reception return, or interception return, oh, that was a dagger, wasn't it? It really was, and there you see the members of the Aquinas team there. Coach Leonard does such a tremendous job to get this team back here to Atlanta, and I'm sure that's not the, what they would hope the outcome would be, but still when they think about it, when they get back to Augusta, a lot of pride in what they were able to accomplish this season and, and getting back here to the Georgia Dome and playing for the state championship. Only two teams get here. They are two quality teams. We saw two quality teams here today. Eagles landing Christian right in the hunt every year. Aquinas in the hunt. And both of them had great years. One is the state champion. The other is the runner up. And that's the way it works. No nope. ties in the dome. No, nope, nope. no tires anywhere anymore. <laughs> not hardly. anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> Sam, it's been great working with you. Rick Whitley, as you as always. Thanks, buddy. And enjoyed it. Let's go down to Mark Carmen on the award ceremony. Time now to hand out the first championship trophy of day two of GHSA championship weekend here on GPB. And for that, I turn the microphone over to the executive director of the GHSA, Gary Phillips. Thank you, Mark. Coach, on behalf of the entire Georgia High School Association, all our schools, all our teams, all our supporters, we want to offer you congratulations to you and your team for your state championship in 2015. Congratulations, man. On behalf of Georgia Farm Bureau, I want to congratulate you on the victory. Thank you very much. Thank you. Coach Guess, you have the hardware there. Talk a little about winning this championship for Eagles Landing Christian Academy. <clears throat> well, it's, I think it's a big deal to win the championship because we represent, our football team represents a great school in Eagles Landing Christian Academy. And ultimately, we all represent Jesus Christ, and uh, we praise him when we lose. We got whipped last year here. We praise him when we win. All right, let's talk to Chase Burdett back here. Hard-hitting game. You guys trailed going into the fourth quarter, 14-13. You dug down deep and got it done. I mean, we just got to win the next play. That's our philosophy over here, win the day, and win the next play, and that's what we did. D.J. Hammond, you had a couple of touchdowns out there and a two extra points. You're holding it. Talk about going out your senior year. It just feels great. I feel great to go out with these group of guys. We've been working since January. I just love every single one of them boys. Like, it means a lot to win this and to go out with a bang. Chandler Reeves, you did a lot of the heavy hitting out there. Talk about winning this one for Eagles Landing Christian Academy. Uh, it's an amazing victory for the school and for the team. I love this team and the best fans in the world out there with Eagles Landing Christian, the greatest coaching staff. And it's been a blessing to be a part of this program and be able to get this victory today. Coach, you guys won one in 2012. I know your fans are very fired up. You got the rest of your team here. Talk about how proud you are. No, I'm extremely proud of our football players, extremely proud of our senior leadership that we had this year. And uh, to win another state championship is, uh, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable feeling. Well, Coach, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right. They win one in 2012. The Eagle has landed one more time in 2015. And now it's time for the GPB tailgate party.